Salut tout le monde! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another fight companion here. I believe this is the first time on this channel that we've hosted a watch party for Eris. Eris 9, baby. Let's go and look at that. Look at that. We got a Canadian on the broadcaster. What a broadcast for Eris. I've watched one event. I think it was like Eris 6. Awesome fights. It's a new promotion. Shout out, France. Shout out tout le monde en France. It's amazing. Je parle français, by the way, for those who are French watching this as well. If you want to interact in the live chat, comment away. Je peux, je peux parler un petit peu de français. So there you go. I see Rob Black is here. Great broadcast here on UFC Fight Pass. Yes, that is where I'm watching it, folks. If you need a place to watch it, you're unfamiliar with this fight promotion, that is where I recommend watching it as well if you're new to the channel what is up welcome to this great fight community that we are building here on this channel we have a minimum of two fight companions every week today we're loading up the schedule starting with today tomorrow we got cage warriors saturday ufc and then sunday i believe fury fc so four days in a row of MMA watch parties. And we're really excited to have you all along for the ride. We do giveaways on every single stream we do. So like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. That's all you have to do. Check back in later. If we hit 50 likes on this video, we will give away some prizes. For those who still haven't reached or haven't received their prize, the, the last, I believe there's three last prize winners. We had a prize winner, um, the our, our 1,000th subscriber. We gave away a prize to them. Uh, they emailed me today. I emailed you back. Uh, everything is on its way. Grave Digger, I'm just, I totally drank too much last week. And after watching UFC and then the boxing matches, uh, your prize is on its way too, brother. And uh, I, I have everything ready and all the information for all you uh, recent prize winners. So there you go. All, I'm caught up with everything now, settling in to Minnesota. I'm wearing this because it's also the Minnesota Wild. It's a Minnesota Wild game day. I'm located in Minnesota. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel again, we're a fight junkies here. Comment, we're totally interactive. Peanuts, what's going on, brother? What's going on? Thank you so much for joining. I was actually telling my roommate earlier today, Peanuts, that I knew you would probably be here because this is at a more you know friendly hour for you. I mean, out way out east since this is taking place in France. We're starting with the prelims here, folks. And as you can see, we have our first prelim fight here on the screen. Again, if you're new to the channel, this is kind of how we do these watch parties slash fight companions, watch alongs, whatever you want to call them. I typically go through the fighter, their their fight history, their style, what the betting odds have them at, if if the betting odds have them at anything at all for Eris. And then I give my official prediction, and then I want to hear yours. So again, live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, and uh, live play-by-play -play and interaction with you folks. Uh, Manash, what's going on? Welcome to the channel, Manash. I put a little bet on those fights. Which ones? Let me know which ones. We always want our our community members, our friends here on the channel to win some money. I know Peanuts, he was doing pretty good last week, no? It's actually a reasonable time final. Well, yes, because this Eris is the new promotion out of France. France recently legalized MMA. And this is a great promotion. It has great broadcast, a great broadcast team. It, it's produced, obviously, and, and, and broadcasted on UFC Fight Pass. So, I mean, it's just chef's kiss, cream of the crop. Again, I watched Eris 6. We're only on Eris 9. So, like, the future is bright for this promotion. The future is bright for French MMA. I mean, look, you got Cyril Gunn. You got uh, Francis Ngannou. There's so many more French fighters. I mean, the card in Paris was unbelievable with some good French raw talent. Gravedigger, I don't know if you just missed it there. Um, I just gave her a, a quick update to all the recent prize winners. You'll hear from me right after this stream. Um, our website went down like two weeks ago, and it was just it's just been I'll be honest. I know Kyle told me not to swear too much on this channel anymore, but it's been a fucking bitch to get that thing back online. We got it back online, and then, like, the purchasing wasn't working. I, like, tested it. Didn't work. Uh, we finally got it all figured out. So, uh, anyways, to all the recent prize winners, if you just joined us right now, like Gravedigger, he was one of our recent prize winners as well. What's up, buddy? Uh, everything's going out, and you'll hear from me after this stream. Just wrapped up work. Threw on my wild jersey. It's wild game day, baby. They're up against the Seattle Kraken if you're a fan of the NHL. Um, and uh, and yeah, you'll hear you from me right after this. Want to crash? Uh, no, no, I don't. 
Uh, thanks, uh, boy, for calling my name. Thanks a lot. No worries, Manesh. No worries. Thank you so much for joining. We're totally interactive here. Matt Mine, I tell you what. My mate, Leonardo Dimanani, will kick some real ass. That's your buddy? That's your buddy? Damina How do you pronounce it? Damiani? Leonardo Damiani. I mean, that that's Italian, right? That That is an Italian name, and I love it. All right, Matt Mine. Uh, where is he on the card? Ba -ba 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 -ba. He's, isn't he, like, up there? He's the main event. No, Damien Okay, Lane. Yeah, he's on the main card. Uh 11, 4, and 1. He's the 15th ranked welterweight in uh Western Europe. And he's up against a 10 and 5 uh Argentinian. Dude, I'm excited for them. That one is the ninth fight on the card. We are at number one right now. Matt, I'm gonna bookmark this comment so I remember your boy. That's what I'm gonna pick right now. I don't even have to look at those stats. I'm locking it in. I'm locking in his boy right now. Matt mine, we're all rooting for your boy here. Vegas best uh NHL team. <laughs> Just saw Paul versus Anderson fight. It was a waste of my time. Yeah, you know what? I, I ended up watching the uh Lubachenko Ortiz fight on ESPN Plus instead. And honestly, that was an unbelievable boxing match. Yo, yo, Matthew. Shout out to Matthew, by the way. Joined Hoppy and myself at Waconia Brewing in Minnesota for our uh, Soda Pod podcast live show. Um, it was a lot of fun. Check it out. It's one of our shorter episodes that's easy to digest. The Soda Pod, wherever you get your podcast from. Paul smacked him. It was a good. I mean, it wasn't a good fight, but it wasn't the worst showing from Silva. So I was happy. I was. I was a little bummed he lost. All right, folks, we have almost. We're almost about to start the first fight here. Shout out to everyone joining. As you can see, we're a totally interactive live stream. Let's highlight these first two fighters here. And again, this is a very France heavy card, given that this is a French promotion. We have uh, Timurlan Azizov against Jawani Scott. Azizov, 2-0 and o professionally, but if you count his amateur record, he's on a three-fight win streak. He's 25 years old. Bum, 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 bum. Again, very new to MMA still. 2-0 and o professional record. He's fought in Strikers League, Extreme Fighters Champion, and in Amateur, he fight in uh, Centurion Fight Champion 4. He has wins by TKO submission um, and decision. Looking at his opponent, uh, Jawani Scott, 1-0 professionally out of England, but on a five-fight win streak if you count his amateur fights. He has a lot of amateur experience going 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0 oh on the amateur scene. A lot of decision wins and rear naked chokes. Um, do we have betting odds on this? And I'll get right back to the comments in a second here, folks. No, we don't have any betting on, odds on, on this, folks. But important note, uh, Azizov trains out of the MMA factory, uh, where Janae Scott trains out of Great Britain top team. So two good gyms, folks. Two good gyms. Uh, oh, I already see that we have some predictions in the live chat. I absolutely love it. Um, shoot, man. Usually when you got an OV at the end of the, your name, it's hard to bet against them. I'm going with Azizov. That is my pick. <laughs> Uh, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, Grave Digger, if you can go rewatch the, it's probably on ESPN Plus if you have it uh, saved. Go watch the Ortiz and uh, Lomo fight. Hey, Deanna, thank you so much. And round one, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Thank you so much for joining, Deanna. I appreciate it. She's rooting for Jawani. Oh, and right away, Azizov's going for the single leg takedown. Dude, I saw that. It's hitting the stores any day now. Azizov locking it in. Matthew, you at school or working today? Azizov to peanuts. I'm so glad that you're here, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. And Azizov has the back of Scott here. Really trying to pull him down for the takedown. Had the had his arms locked, but good takedown defense by Jawani Scott. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Jawani Scott, how old is he here? It's on the broadcast. It doesn't say on Tapology. Seems relatively young, too. Opening the car here. Fight one, round one, a minute into it. Eris nine here. Very exciting promotion. And the single leg almost gets a takedown. Actually, Scott defended it, but a good job by Azizov to use that range of motion to actually get the full body lock. And then he takes Scott to the ground. Good job by Scott to get right back up. 
only to be dragged back down by Azizov. Work in a bit. How was that? Uh, how'd you dig the raspberry uh, beer that we got from Waconia? He's 25. All right. Thank you so much again for joining, Deanna. I appreciate it. Um, we do these watch parties, these watch alongs at least twice a week, covering all sorts of promotions, not just the UFC. Obviously, love to do the smaller promotions as well and see these prospects grow. Great takedown defense, a reversal by Scott. Now, Scott tried to go for the takedown. Azizo tried to make him pay there with a overhand, or more of like a left hook. Instead, uses it to grab the single leg. Scott has great takedown defense, all things considered. Kenneth Smith. Oh, shit. What's up, my neighbor? What's up, Kenneth? What's up, I'm about to mix the peanut butter porter and the raspberry uh, ale a little bit later. Uh, Manash saying, Sol, Solslan uh, Gaglov wins. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Where's he at? On the card. Let me take a look. Oh, he's the next uh, next fight. All right, all right. A nice takedown again by Azizov. But, man, Scott's just quick in his movement. Scott, Scott quickly back up to his feet. Azizov still has the single leg down and back up. I mean, Scott, tremendous athleticism here. And he's definitely trained for this type of grappling match. Two minutes and 22 seconds left in the first round. Uh, Lucky Tim, I am watching it on UFC Fight Pass. Literally on my iPad right in front of me because I couldn't get the Fight Pass app, app on the smart TV. Again, another takedown. Scott is, I believe, winning right now in points in this first uh, round, but good, good job by Scott here. Let's see if he's if his cardio can withstand this crazy grappling match and if he can make Aziz off pay on any of these entries. Um, I changed my mic up today, folks, in some settings. You all can hear me okay? Another takedown by Azizov, but man, Scott is just fighting to get right back up to his feet every single time. Up against the cage is Azizov and Scott right now. Azizov just like hunting that single leg. I'm saving the flashpoint and peanut butter porter for last. Dude, I got plenty. If you want more peanut butter porters, I have a whole fridge full of them. They're all yours. I have like 10 extra. You can have them. Shout out to Waconia Brewing again for hosting the Soda Pod, my uh, hockey podcast. Good outside low kick by Scott. One minute left in this first round. Scott's defense is legit. And I love Rob Black, by the way. Former TSN MMA analyst up in Canada. Right back up to his feet every time Azizov takes him to the ground. Now, Azizov is, is employing his game plan to a T right now. But it must be annoying that he can't just employ his wrestling and ground and pound or maybe like that... Dagestani style submission game right off uh, right off the hop. Scott still looks pretty fresh here. Who who's gonna gas out first in this grappling match? Like, what if Azizov in this match? I, sh I should say fight. It's not a match. It, it it looks like a grappling match, but it is a fight. What if Azizov gasses first and he doesn't expect Scott to be in just this incredible shape that he is seemingly in? But uh, we shall see as we are nearing the end of the first round here. 20 seconds left. Aries and nine. Azizov Scott. I was on a damn good time at Waconia. Yeah, yeah, man. It was a lot of fun. We appreciate you coming out, brother. We appreciated you coming out. It was a fun podcast episode between having Matt, um, having some Waconia representation on the podcast, uh, the brand manager and sales manager. We also had two good old hockey Minnesota boys on. It was it was awesome. All right, end of the first round, folks. Again, I'm I'm very impressed by Scott. Aziza won that first round, in my opinion. Let me know if you uh, think otherwise in the live chat. We are also broadcasting to Twitter, by the way. Uh, if you're viewing on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube so you can, A, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. Good crafty takedowns by Azizov here, holding the single leg, going for the sweep. <laughs> Again, going full Minnesota in today's... Game day for the wild. If you're a fan of hockey, I mean, I'm Canadian living in the States, but like I'm still a hockey nut. I mean, look at the jerseys behind me. <laughs> getting my office. I just moved here. So uh, getting my office still, I say this two weeks in, but still getting settled. Um, I'll get my office set up soon. And uh, I just, I got a Derek Lewis bobblehead that I'm excited to put on, uh, put on the desk there. So it will add a little bit more MMA flavor to these streams moving forward. But hey, not a bad spot to lounge. 
Again, great broadcast here. Aries 9. I'm watching on UFC Fight Pass, folks. If there's another place where you are watching, if any of the people in the live chat cannot access UFC Fight Pass, help them out. Manash saying, Termalin wins. Manash giving their prediction for this one. Round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Ooh, a counter flying knee attempt by Scott going for the double leg. Single leg now again. I mean, that's Azizal's bread and butter. And he gets the takedown and quickly goes for the back of Scott. I mean, that's a good adjustment by Azizov. You got to kind of have to just go for that back right now and end this quick or else Scott is going to keep wrestling with you. Good job by Scott, though, for fighting the legs of Azizov. And Azizov's actually lo not losing, but it hard it's harder for him to keep that back position as he's got to scramble, scramble, scramble as well. Scott is just so strong and so quick. But Azizov stalls his bat. Ooh, tries to jump on him. Does he get the body lock in? That's what he, he's wanting, just to jump and get that body lock grip. And then he can even pull Scott back to the ground and go for the rear naked choke. Thoughts on the Matthews non-fight against Philly last night? This is, this is Matthews. He's not going to fight. He ain't no tough guy. Philly, though. My roommate, whoop, obviously. Whoop. He's a Philly fan. He's smiling right now, but it's not going to end well this season. Fighting up against the cage right now. Yeah, Scott hasn't like done anything. I don't have live stats for this. And when we do UFC streams, we have like the ESPN live stats whoop, up on the screen where you can see like the live shots as far as the strikes, significant strikes, kicks, like the whole nine yards. But Azizov is just all over Scott here. And it's 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 single leg, like it's single leg central, baby. Two minutes and 59 seconds left in this second round. It's working. It's working, though. That's the thing. Yeah, there's not a lot of punches thrown in this one, folks. This is a high, high level grappling match in the MMA cage here. Eris, number nine. Paris, France. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, folks. If or when we hit 50 likes on the video, check back in at the end of the stream. If so, if we do, we will give away some City Light Project merchandise to some lucky folks who commented. But we got to get to 50 likes first, folks. Still trying to get the single leg. Is Azizov again? Great take down defense all things considered by scott oh beautiful takedown by azizov wow this guy's got some power man this guy's got some strength goes for the back again of scott now oh man like again scott's defense in my opinion has been has been great he doesn't look like he's not gassed at all right now but uh azizov yeah he's just gonna have to end this or scott's just gonna keep scrambling no fighters, just... Oh, and good reversal by Scott. He tried to roll out of that back position, but a good job of getting to the fence at least gets back up to his feet. Again, impressed with what Scott is doing right now, but Azizov is just high, high-level grappling, and he's sticking to him like glue. Is that a blank? Yeah, I don't have a name on any jersey I own, to be, to be perfectly honest. Oh, actually, that's not true. I have a few WHL jerseys that have names on them. Oh, and it looks like Azizov's cut, perhaps? The right eye? I don't know what happened. There was maybe the clash of heads that I miss. Yes, no, 100%. I'm just very impressed with what Scott is uh, what Scott is doing because Azizov's that good, that dangerous out there with his grappling. Uh, 50, 45 seconds left in this second round. Thanks, everybody, for joining, by the way. To all of our new... To all of our new subscribers, to all of our new friends in the live chat here, what is up? Welcome to this great fight community that we're building. I mean, we have regulars here every time, every stream. It's amazing. And it seems like the one championship streams, those are the ones where we get like hundreds and hundreds of people. But shoot, we got, if we got even 10 people here and we got like 20 to 30 people in and out of this stream, I'm, I'm always happy to converse with you folks. Like play-by-play, -play, live commentary. 
live interaction and reaction here on this channel. I'm about to get that pens reverse retro with the Zucker on the back. They look good on the ice. Who is this? Hoppy? All right, end of the second round. Again, Aziz is winning in the grappling, but I'm very impressed by, uh, by Scott. And you can see Scott's fush. Okay, maybe Scott's the one that's cut there. I don't know. They both had blood on their face. Maybe it was a clash of heads. Yeah, great. Again, this broadcast is unbelievable, folks. Um, just just pointed out there that like these there's these guys are let's take a look at the records again here as I bring it back up. Two and oh, one and oh professionally. And the grappling is like it is on in it is on an incredibly high level here. It it truly is. This is for those who dig grappling, and I know a lot some don't in MMA, and I get it. Watch one championship then for the Muay Thai. Um this is this is really something else. For the opening fight, again, I saw these guys' records and I was like, okay, this is going to be a sloppy fucking fight. I mean, there hasn't been much fighting. It's been mostly grappling. My goodness. All right, round three, third and final round of this opening fight on the card. Let's get it all! Double opening jab, double left jab by Scott, followed by an <laughs> and outside low kick, you try to do a spinning heel kick. Anaerobic, says Rob Black on the broadcast. Uh, hello, Manash. I see you. I see you. Uh, who do you think I win? Oh, right. I think Aziz. Uh, did I say Aziz? Jesus. Azizov is winning this one. Ooh, overhand right opportunity by Azizov. But the thing is, Scott here stalking down Azizov. Azizov can easily pro... I shouldn't say easily, but can go for the takedown here, which he just does. If you're on your feet fighting MMA, you have a puncher's chance of knocking your opponent down. But Azizov, control time, there's and the amount of takedowns that he has, there's no doubt that he's winning this fight. Look at that beautiful, beautiful judo takedown there with the trip. He's had back. He's had. He's been on the back of Scott on countless occasions as well. No, like, and again, no disrespect to Scott. Both these guys, high, high level grappling for their first. This is Scott's second professional fight. This is Azizov's third. Now Scott's had a ton of fights on the amateur scene. Azizov won, but still, this is this is unbelievable. What a, what a great, great, competitive, competitive fight to start this card. I'm so uh oh. I feel like I feel like it's a troll job coming, folks. I feel like Manash is gonna is gonna try to get me to read something funky here. What do you think? Peanuts, are you able to watch this? Do you have Fight Pass? Again, still going for that single leg. That seemed to be a special all night. Is Azizov? Yes, you do. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. There's one in BC that I I like a lot as well from Dead Frog, the Nutty Uncle. And I'd say that, like, it's up there. Like, it's up there with the Waconias. Waconias is unbelievable. But, uh, yeah, if I'm going to be perfectly honest here, like, Dangerous Man is the best peanut butter porter. It's not necessarily the best brewery that I've gone to because a lot of their other stuff is super funky. But that one in particular, oh, my goodness. And it's just a, it's a good vibe going there, too. Bunch of hipsters. I fit in. Scott now. Two minutes and 20 seconds left into this third and final round. Scott now. <laughs> More of the dominant position here. Holding Azizov up against the cage. Azizov with a beautiful reverse judo throw. But Scott, again, tremendous scramble. Tremendous scramble, and they're back on their feet. Yeah, Scott has to do something here. This is his last opportunity in this fight. You can tell he's tired. Maybe going for a guillotine here on the entry. Again, single leg by Azizov. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I just got this on the background while I play Rocket League. I love it. Thanks. Thanks for joining, buddy. You're you're amazing. Uh, my buddy Shane plays Rocket League quite a bit, actually. You playing just on your PC? 
he uh if he joins the chat actually no he's i'm two hours ahead of him he's working um if he uh if you see him on any of the live streams this weekend because this is the first of four cage warriors tomorrow ufc saturday and fury fc on sunday so join us you have so many opportunities to win some free shit folks um maybe you can get his uh steam account and you guys can play some rocket league together one minute left in this third and final round. They're still on their feet here, folks. Again, credit to Scott. Outside low kick. Azizov is going to win this fight, barring a knockout in the next 50 seconds. But credit where credit is due to Scott. This is this is hardly a can to face in your come up in professional mixed martial arts. Shane, what is up, buddy? What's going on? <laughs> Uh, I'm just here making a smoothie, and I, then you, uh, then I'll start watching. Shane, I honestly thought that uh, you would be working today, dude, because I know it's it's early back home. Um, cheers, buddy. Of the Waconia brews, I tried uh, peanut butter, Flashpoint, oatmeal, two fifty five, ninety k, and the Imperial Barrel Age. Also some, pe also same peanuts. Uh, Kulev Spartak, what's going on, brother? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> how can I see translation without UFC Fight Pass? Oh, how can you see the fights? Um, and that's the end of this fight, folks. Help a brother out here, folks. I I just watch him through Fight Pass, dude. So I'm sorry if I, I don't have a I don't have a link for uh, Eris. But if anyone else knows where to watch these type of fights, let me know. Uh, Kulev, check their YouTube account. They might be streaming it from their YouTube account, Aries uh, Fighting Championship. Check it out on their YouTube channel. And if you want a different language um, uh, captions for this stream, I believe you can set it on your YouTube settings or on this video if you click language. Let, let me know uh, if, if you need that help. I don't have the link. Oh, for the for the Aries Fighting Championship, I can drop that in here. I don't know if they're streaming. They might be uh, in your neck of the woods. But again, if anyone has uh, a place to watch fights outside of Fight Pass, um, because we do it legally here, YouTube, uh, help a brother out. Kulev, usually we have some people who who join who can help you out. So uh, we'll ask the chat here in a sec. Shane Singh also haven't played Rocket League since uh, blah, 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 since Brandon sold his PC. No, I work Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Look at that. MN Wild Rock League is the best league. Cool, Lav. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, buddy. Again, I don't know if this is going to work, Cool, Lev. I'm just saying this right now. I'm just saying this is this is their blah, 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 blah. This is their YouTube channel, so they'll probably have information on where you can find it if you don't have UFC Fight Pass. Um, it's their Facebook, too. Look at this. I'm doing God's work. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Kulev. I mean, he's got you got Googled there in Russia. No, I just assuming you're in Russia because of your name. I actually don't know where you're from. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, what? Why, why isn't Kulev doing this himself, folks? That's what I want to know. Is this fun? Is this fun, Kulev? There's no way this is going to be a, a draw. I, I can't imagine. Oh, dude, just go on Facebook and you'll just... Kulev, go on Facebook, look up Aris uh, FC9. You will find a stream. That That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, brother. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. You happy now? There's your freaking link. There's your freaking link. <laughs> No worries, buddy. Like, literally, I looked it up on Facebook. And again, I'm in the United States. I don't know, like, how your search engine works. But um, it should be the same. It took me two searches, and I found two. Um, But anyways, try either of them. And if anybody in the chat knows of a, a place where you guys watch fights, help out our boy here. Spartak, welcome to the community, my man. All right, official decision coming up right now. I think Azizov wins this one. Azizov looks disgusted in himself. I don't understand why. Again, I don't know how the court, I don't know how the judging is in in areas compared to like the bigger promotions. Are right, listening in right now? Split decision, perhaps. 
30 20 who the fuck scored a 30 27 for scott Okay, yeah, Azizov wins this one by split decision as he should. Who was the judge who scored that 30 20, 27 for Scott? I mean, I'm sorry, again, unless you get points for takedown defense like in one championship, then then I get it. But if if not, then that makes no sense. But he got the win. He should be happy. Oh, Eris. Okay, so this, the, the promoter, the head promoter of this league is uh, Cyril Gon's coach. I see, I see. Again, shout out to Kulev. Shout out to Shane. Shout out to Matt. Um, ba, 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 ba. Shout out to uh, Manash. Shout out to Kenneth, Lucky Tim, Deanna, Peanuts, Jacob Loves, THPN, Gravedigger, Matt Mine. Uh, you, are, you are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, folks. Check back in later when we hit 50 likes on this video. We will choose a winner from the live chat. All right. I know there was someone in the chat here who's already talking about this next fight. We will highlight here in just a moment. Okay, yes. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We have a great fight community. Our chat's usually buzzing, especially like when we go one championship, it's absolutely insane. We have like hundreds of people in the live chat. It's crazy. Today, we've got the regulars here and some new folks. So thank you so much for joining. Absolutely love it. We will highlight these next two fighters in just a moment. Dude, Peanuts, you've been killing it. What did you go on the last one? Like six and one or something like that? Uh, Manash, uh, your prediction was correct, Manash. Your prediction was correct. Azizov wins split decision. Although one judge gave Scott a 30-27, which I, like scored a 30-27 for Scott, which I think was just absolutely nuts. And again, no disrespect to Scott. Sure, he hit Azizov more, but unless you're unless you get points for takedown defense, I can't imagine that, you know, that any judge should have scored it that way. I'm no judge, but I mean you you folks are pretty smart too. Hey, this announcer's pretty good. This announcer's pretty good. And smile's a little creepy, but I mean... Man, the broadcast for Ares is amazing. I'm, I'm blown away with how great the broadcast is. The production and everything. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Five and one last time, now one and... Okay, five and one. Oh, yeah, that was close. Six and one. I'm just so glad P this is an earlier stream, which is why uh, Peanuts is here. And that's kind of, folks, why I, like, I do a bunch of different streams. I, I'll do some in the morning you know, for, for fight promotions out East. And we'll do some, you know, for the West coast, um, for the, you know, United States and Canada based, uh, throughout the weekend and things like that. So we can hit every market and so we can hang out with all you fight fans. All right. We will highlight the next two fighters here and I'll give you guys my predictions. Matt mine. Can't wait for the match. Matt mine. You're an absolute beauty. Welcome to the channel, man. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah. I can't wait to man, especially since you know, one of the fighters and like you have, you have connections to, to this card. I mean, that's what it's all about here. We're all rooting for him. Uh, Kulev, Solsan is your friend? No way. Just Matt Mine as a friend on this card as well. Uh, oh, Kulev, sorry if I've, sorry I've been mispronouncing your name, buddy. I, I, I apologize. Kulev. And I was want translation. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I apologize that I can't translate. Into your language, my man. But I'm I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you're still conversing in the live chat. We're rooting for your boy. We're rooting for your boy. We will highlight the fighters here in just a moment, folks. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Check back in later or just stick around. And when we hit 50 likes on the video, we will give away some City Life Project merchandise to a lucky commenter in the live chat. doesn't matter where you are in the world, folks. We ship all over. And for all the, the recent winners, don't worry. We finally got the kinks with the, the website figured out. And uh, your shit's coming, and I'll, I'll update you all after this stream. All right, here we go. The fighters are being announced here on the card. Again, if you're new to the channel, it's kind of the format that we do. We interact, and like I'll address every comment within reason, folks. It's all about the interaction with you folks here on the channel. The vibe we like to to 
create is like if we're all just like hosting a watch party or at like a bar or pub watching the fights together. Um, I always highlight the fighters before each fight. We talk about their fighting style, we talk about their record. Highlight basically whatever information that we can get on them, you know, via Tapology, SureDog, Wikipedia, whatever. And then I give my official prediction. If there's betting odds attached to them as well, we'll go over that. Shane and I, we always got our beer bets here. And I'd love to hear your predictions as well in the live chat. And I mean, that's incentive. If you just like the video and give me your prediction for any bout, any one bout, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. So there you go. Okay, Solsen Gagloev. He is 1-0 and o professionally, 22 years old. He won his first professional MMA fight via ground and pound win in the third round in AMC Fight Night 105. Two amateur bouts where he both lost. However, 1-0 and o, where it counts. On the pro scene, looking at his opponent, also one and O professionally, riding a two fight win streak. One of his, as he had one amateur win before entering the pro ranks, head kick knockout in the amateurs, and a win via TKO 59 seconds into the first round in Barcelona Fight League. 155ers, so we have some lightweights here, both of them. One professional bout, both of them, one professional win. All right, we're rooting for our boy in the live chat. He has a friend who is fighting here tonight, fighting here right now. Solson, that's who I'm picking here. We're rooting for him, buddy. This guy smashed everybody. Okay, I'm watching on Fight Pass now. So, Shane, what are the commenters? And by the way, the broadcast for this one is, is tremendous. Shout out to, to Ares. Ares, Ares, whatever. 27 years old is uh, Navlos Natidias Sosen Gagloev, 22. Um, but anyway, Shane, uh, Rob Black on the broadcast, one of them, he was TSN's former MMA uh, analyst, and he's so awesome. The broadcast, the production, I am blown away with Ares 9. All right, they are being announced here. Oh, this one, like, my head is like, okay, the, the older guy with the head kick knockout, but uh, we're rooting for our, we're root, my, my heart's going with our boy in the live chat. His friend is fighting right now. So Shane's going with the 27-year-old. I'm going with the 22-year-old. Shane's going with the guy that's going to be a hell of a name to pronounce. Pavlos Tatidis. <laughs> oh, I am juvenile. But anyway, Shane uh, locking in his pick, uh, Gagloev. <laughs> Both of them 1 and 0 professionally, folks. Both of them 1 and 0 professionally. How's my mic by the way? Y'all can hear me okay? Oh, this fucking guy did the fucking Yamazaki heart. All right, second fight on the card here today, folks. Round 1, live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, of course, live interaction. With you folks here in the live chat, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I mean, so far it looks like these guys are gonna strike. Inside low kick by Natidis, or sorry, by Gagloev. Two strong kicks. More of a wider stance by Natidis. Gagloev with a nice left hook. Gagloev with an outside low kick. Natidis took a hook on the chin clean by Gagloev. Natidis going for the high kick there. Gagloev catches it. Center of the octagon are both of these fighters. Please turn on the broadcast. Can't do it, buddy. YouTube will shut us all down. It's on UFC Fight Pass. Or just look it up on Facebook. There's a lot of live streams on Facebook. Gagloev for you. Locking it in. 
Locking it in. Locking it in. I ain't going to do it, buddy. I can't. YouTube will shut it down. You know this. YouTube and the UFC will shut us down. You can find it on Facebook or you can find it on UFC Fight Pass, brother. Hear you loud and clear. Thanks, Gravedigger. New mic and just like a little bit of a different setup. Some settings, so I just want to make sure. Three minutes, 32 seconds left. Center of the alternate. Again, wide stands for uh, Natitis. Gagulev, though, looks very good. As he checks the kick of uh, Natitis, hits him back with an outside low kick. The low kicks by Gagulev are, are, really, are really crisp. Oh, and a nice switch spinning kick. It was like a switch kick, but turned into a spinning back heel kick. Um, Gagula threw just so quickly. Didn't land or anything, but uh, it's good technique there. Round one, two minutes and 55 seconds left in the first round. Again, look it up on Facebook, bro. Look up Aris 9. Aris FC 9 on Facebook. I found it. Two minutes. I found two. But again, I use Fight Pass. It's crisp and clear here, real time. But I'll keep doing play by play for you, my man. Center of the octagon, high kick thrown by Gaglov. Misses with the overhand, but goes for the takedown. Beautiful takedown by Gaglov. Two minutes and 30 seconds, and this fight has been taken to the ground. A great takedown by Gaglov. Working in the guard now. Hasn't advanced his position yet, has Gagulev, but a solid, solid defense from his opponent right now. Two minutes left in the first round. Gagulev was my official prediction, and he looked pretty crisp on his feet, and that was a beautiful takedown. I don't know how good the submission game is of his opponent, but so far, your boy, he's looking damn good. Gag he hasn't won yet, but that is your prediction. Going for the leg lock is Nikitas, but he doesn't get it. Gaglov gets out of the uh, heel hook. Standing up right now, looking perhaps to re-enter and go for the heel hook again. Uh, it could be a finish. He's laying on top of his opponent right now, laying down some ground and pound. I, I do believe Gaglev could finish this fight. Oh, and here we go. Gaglev laying down the ground and pound. This fight could be over. Gaglev with the ground and pound. Top is an end, and it's over. Your boy wins. Your boy wins. Your boy wins. Gaglev wins the fight. Gaglev wins the fight. No. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Round TKO, baby. Let's go. Your boy wins. And he just smashed his opponent. Peanuts going 2 and oh. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. I don't know what that means. But your boy won. Gagloev with the ground and pound, man. My goodness. That was tremendous. And his opponent is... I think he knocked him out, perhaps, with the ground and pound. He pushes his head to the ground and just starts smashing him, Khabib style, baby. Uh, yeah, you did, Shane. You picked the opposite of me. I mean, you can, you can change it if you want. Yeah, I think he knocked him out in that. I mean, the ref, I think, was a little too late there. Wow. I tip my uh, my toque. I tip my beanie, as they say in the United States. Yes, sir, he won. Yes, sir, he won. Ground and pound. <laughs> wow, I had like I have like no investment in this card other than like I just kind of really dig the broadcast talent and production that Ares puts on here, and so far. Patty, stand up. Je parle français aussi, by the way. For anybody uh, French who is here and you want to connect, interact, you can type in French. Uh, you know, I can read in French. 
Je peux parler un peu français aussi. So there you go. There you go. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Dominant performance, in my opinion, folks. Dominant performance. Wow. Thank you all so much for joining us, by the way. We are going to go the full card here. We do a minimum of two watch along slash fight companions every single week. We're doing four this week, though. Join us tomorrow for Cage Warriors. Join us Saturday for UFC Fight Night, UFC Vegas 64. And then join us Sunday for Fury FC. I was, dude. That was my prediction. Hell yeah. Great fight. Great fight. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. If you're new to the channel, live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, of course, live interaction with all you folks. We interact with everybody in the live chat here. And if you interact with us, we reward you. If you like the video and drop one comment in the live chat, you are automatically entered into winning some prizes. Join us today as we grow this fight community. If you're viewing on Twitter, by the way, migrate over to YouTube. That's where you can join our contest. That's where you can get interactive with us in the live chat. In get interactive with us. Interact with us. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, he did. I have no idea. This, uh, somebody in our... I can't copy and paste. I can't. I guess I can't. I can't copy um, sentences on like the program I'm using to stream. So someone help me out here. What's going on in the live chat? I mean, I talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. By all means. By all means. Um. All right. Now let's uh let's highlight this next fight. That one was quick. Oh my god! I freaking hate Mac computers, folks. Okay. Um. Ba 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 ba. All right. Some uh some new fighters here making their pro debuts, folks. And I mean, we don't have a lot on uh, Mr. Uh, Yusuf here. <laughs> but we got a little bit of here on his opponent. So we'll do some digging. We'll do some digging and we'll see if we can uh, highlight these guys at all. No, this is not Chuck Norris. I just want to say. Okay. We have the Frenchman, Yusuf uh, Binati, making his promo debut. And that's all I got on him, folks. <laughs> Going up against his opponent, uh, Michael Pinode, out of Israel. He's lost twice in kickboxing in its Showtime 43. He lost due to a cut. And in Crush 25, he lost unanimous decision. So a stand-up uh, striker. It, it should be noted that his last two kickboxing matches were in 2010 and 2012 so i don't know where he's been fighting uh or where his fights have been recorded since there you go three times the world championship in kickboxing in israel but topology just doesn't have that info on screen if you're watching the broadcast right here they're going over the fighters right now and I mean, you can tell he on uh, Tapology is his picture is holding a title. So I did think that he held the title in a league that or promotion that Tapology or Sherdog just don't keep track of. So, anyways, MMA debut here from a kickboxer, and we'll see if the broadcast has any more info on his opponent. Manesh knows. Manesh knows. Manesh is the insider. Shane, I'm going with Chuck Norris. <laughs> Did he win by knockout? Uh, t uh, ground and pound TKO. He did knock out his opponent, but the ref called it due to ground and pound. How many fights does this card, or do you know when it'll end? Shane, again, it's hard for me to know when it'll end because it's not uh, it's not televised. This one, right? So, depending on the stoppages and and whatnot, I just I don't know. Uh, I will tell you that there are. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12. There's 12 fights on the card, Shane. And I got dinner. I got a dinner uh, to go to. So I better not go too late. I mean, MMA debut for both of these fighters here. The fight could be really exciting, raw and super exciting, or super shit. I hope 
I hope that the Frenchman is also a kickboxer, so we just see this stay on their feet. The broadcast is doing a little intro of it right now. Benate Youssef, 25 years old, trains at the MMA factory, background in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is going to be a scrap. This is going to be a scrap. Okay, I'm going with Benati as well. Lock it in. Okay, yeah, he is, Kenneth. Um, if he's Benati is African, then he may be this guy who has a Muay Thai record of 43 victories and four losses. 14 wins are by KO, TKO. Kenneth, I think you're right, brother. Thank you so much for doing some... Thank you so much for doing my job. <laughs> Uh, Shane Sagan, uh, pay no Leo, the Don Leo. What's going on, brother? Welcome. <laughs> He's going Benati. Also, he's 22. If it's the guy, I think it is. I think it is too. This guy looks young as hell. Oh, wait. I think this guy's 25 actually. Oh no, 24. Use of 20. Yusuf Benati is 24 years old. Pinod wins. Manash locking it in. I love it. Get, let me know your predictions for, for this fight, for any of the fights, but we highlight as much as we can anyways, both of the fighters before they, or as they make their walkout, I give my prediction and then we want to hear yours, folks. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and the best part, live interaction with all you folks in the live chat. You all are amazing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat too for a chance to win some prizes. We do giveaways on every stream. All right. 36 years old is Pinod. 24 years old is Yusuf. Okay. So these are featherweights, 145ers, folks. And I'll just get that up on screen for anyone who's watching. And by the way, if you're watching on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join the live chat in our community here and enter our contest. Uh, yeah, they may be accurate because the footage I got on him is two years ago. Okay, Kenneth, I think that's the guy, man, because he said he had a huge background in Muay Thai and kickboxing. He trains at the MMA lab, so... MMA lab, that's with Kraus, right? James Kraus? No, no, M or is MMA lab in Phoenix? I'm getting them mixed up. What, MMA, I'm getting MMA factory and MMA lab mixed up. MMA lab is with Sean O'Malley and Tim Welsh, No. Oh, man, after seeing the reach, I'm less confident. I'll still pick the guy locked in. <laughs> well, even the broadcast said, like, 32 centimeters of reach difference. Is that is that is that accurate? All right, folks. Third fight on the card here. Keep your comments coming. Keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream, as you all know. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. I want to read your reaction to these fights as they go on here. Eris 9, live on UFC Fight Pass. Let's freaking go. Round one. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. And right away, you can see. You can see the Muay Thai and kickboxing background from both of these guys. But what, what an age difference. Benati with the... Or Benata, I guess. Because that's how they're saying his name. Holy crap, is he lanky. And he's uh, checking already the leg kicks of Pinod. Oh, and there we go. Straight jab by Benati, and it's over. Just I'm gonna finish it! It's over. It's all over. It is over. In his debut, he's already like, I'm the man. That might be the fastest finish in Eris history. Now I know it's Eris 9, but still. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Ooh. So it was a front kick. I don't think it was to the body. Here, let me see. The front kick. 
It was, there was a front kick. It landed uh, above the knee or the side of the body. I, I didn't catch it there. Then a straight right followed by a knee. And good night, Jim Cutter. Oh, it's all over! Aaron, what's going on, Aaron? Thank you so much for joining us. We've got a whole crew here today on this beautiful Thursday. Easy money. Leo the Dawn. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, baby. Wow. Experience versus youth. No, no, no. We're talking about reach. A whole other person worth of reach. Uh, love your vibe, bro. You're lit. <laughs> I love watching MMA. Uh, watch alongside you. You doing UFC this weekend? Yes, Leo. We're doing Cage Warriors tomorrow. UFC on Saturday. And then freaking Fury CF. Fury FC, whatever the fuck it's called, on Sunday. So four days in a row this week. We do a minimum of two watch-alongs every week on this channel, brother. And we are building such an awesome community here. We have regulars join us every single week, both those out on like out in Europe or, or, or on the eastern side of the world. And we have a ton of North America, United States, and Canada as well. Leo, welcome to the community. We're pumped to have you, brother. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, it's lit then. Much love from Miami. Let's fucking go, dude. I just moved to the United States. I was living in Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Packed up my car three weeks ago. Drove all the way to Minnesota. Minnesota game day, which is why I'm rocking the wild jersey here. And uh, yeah, here we are now in the US of A. Shout out to you, Leo. It's a lot warmer in uh, Miami than it is Minnesota right now. I'll tell you that much. Um, once I found footage of this guy and his record, I put 217 on him to win 100. That was literally 10 minutes ago. Easy money. Kenneth, let's freaking go, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I love it. I love it, dude. Wow. The audience is going crazy right now and we are. We're going, we're moving right along here. So we will get the next two fighters here on screen. And by the way. Uh, Leo, when we do UFC uh, Contender Series and PFL, we, we get the ESPN stats on screen with the live stats. Oh, so much better than just having these ones. I'm hoping more and more promotions start doing that, getting their even on their own website, getting live stats up on screen so that we can just really, after every round, go through, okay, here's the significant strikes. Here, you know, here what, what, what has actually been recorded for takedowns, knockdowns, submission attempts, and it gives us a better idea of how the fight should be scored. And it, I mean, it just adds more conversation for us. But anyways, I digress. I do like doing the UFC ones because of that. But honestly, my favorite streams because we get the most activity are the one championship streams. We get hundreds of people in the live chat, bro. Hundreds of people. It's insane. All right, well, I'll get right back to the live chat in a sec, folks. Just want to tee up this next fight here. Get it on the ticker on screen. And uh, bah, 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 and the matchup picture as well. Okay. Exciting prelims thus far, folks. And again, very French heavy. This is Paris, France. Salut tout le monde. En France, uh, je parle français aussi. So, I mean, hey. For those in, in France right now who want to interact with us here, I can read your comments. I can read your comments. Je comprends. Je, I mean, I, I sound like a fucking Quebecois French idiot when I'm talking to you people from Paris. But still, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, Canada, baby. Oh, Canada. Okay. <laughs> Give me one second. I'll get back to the comments here, folks. By the way, like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat. When we hit... 50 likes on the video, and that's not a crazy ask. When we hit 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes, some City Life Project merchandise to a lucky commenter in the live chat. All right, some lightweights up next, folks. I love the production of Ares, man. All right. Victoria, what's going on, Victoria? Thank you so much for joining. How are you on this Thursday? Shane's picking a Maddie. MMA has gone global uh, frantically in front. MMA has gone so global. 
How did frantically in front? How how did your autocorrect go to frantically in front from so? How did you? <laughs> that that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know, Leo. My mind, my mind was blown. My mind is a pretzel, and I'm like, what were you typing for 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 so to become frantically in front? But anyways. I, I, I'm no like no disrespect. I'm just like wow. Okay. Um. No, but you were right, man. And, and one championship is huge in Singapore too. They have a huge audience there. Like, I mean, check out my channel. Like, sift through some of the live streams. You'll see. You'll be like, okay, does pretty well in some UFC ones. Bellator there's a big audience. Holy shit! One championship. What the hell is this, dude? I know. I said the same thing. I know. It's awesome. And you know what? I love. I love one championship. I love the Muay Thai. I love the kickboxing. I love the MMA fighters. And I love the submission grappling format that they have versus ADCC and uh, some of the other ones. Was it IFBJJ? I don't fucking know the other one, but ADCC is the, the other big one right now. Um, but, but, but we're waiting. Matt Mine, our boy Matt Mine, who I don't know if he's still in the chat, but he's here earlier. Um, he's got a buddy who is on the main card later tonight as well. So be sure to stick around for that. We're all gonna root for him here on this channel. Uh, I type so fast, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Again, though, I, I type fast too. Like I'm terrible at it. Uh, especially on my phone and on my keyboard here. But again, like I just like like so like what the fuck did you write, bro? Damn it, that's the first F. Look, like we like to keep things real here. Our channel did get monetized, so like my the co-creator of the channel who does all the production on our vlogs and just like the better videos. <laughs> These live streams are fun, but to be honest, like the actual creative stuff Kyle does, he's like, Isha, you gotta cut the swearing down, bro. YouTube pays us more when you don't swear. So I'm like trying not to just drop like fuck every now and then. But it's gonna it's gonna happen. We're watching fights here, folks. We're watching fights here. YouTube knows we're a bunch of like animals shout minnesota wild animals here watching fights i was gonna say degenerates but degenerates lose their money when they gamble everyone here in the live chat y'all are winning money when you're gambling so you're hardly degenerates he's walking out to halo music that is amazing shane do you know that mike perry former ufc fighter now bkfc who fought michael venom page by the way in bkfc one of the greatest bkfc fights yet he asked the ufc to walk to be able to walk out to Halo, like to the Halo theme, and they put Halo by Beyonce on instead, and he just he just danced and, and was laughing and singing along to it as he walked out, anyways. Oh my gosh, so sorry, no more swearing. Respect the show. No, no, you can swear. I don't, I don't care. It's me. I can't say it. I think. I think that's the thing. Well, it's not even that I can't. YouTube, the, I mean, there's just put it this way: if you want to make money on YouTube, which that is not my goal, it's just like a perk at this point. I just love doing these. And I said, like, I watch, I'm a fight junkie. I watch anything I can squeeze into my work day or week. And like, I'll, I'm going to work Saturday this weekend before the USC to make up for my half day of work today. Like, I'm just a fight junkie, dude. I'm a fight junkie. I figured I'm watching all these anyways. I might as well stream it. I might as well interact with all the other fight junkies out there. Julian, what's going on? Salut, Julian. <laughs> Bonjour, salut. I'm from France. How are you, MMA fans? We are great, and I am better now that you are here. We have another MMA fan, part of this fight community, the City Life Project channel. We do live streams every week, multiple a week, and I'm so glad that, Julian, that you found us here. Patty, stand up. What a great event thus far. Ares 9. Bum, 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 bum. Respect. When Turpo Yunusubov will fight, give me one sec. Let me check. So he's is the next one. The next one, brother, after this fight. So right after Medi Sadi and Leopold Goy go at it here, your boy will fight. All right. We didn't even, I haven't even gone through both of the fighters yet. I haven't even made a prediction. So while they're being announced in the octagon, I will give my prediction. We have Maddi Sadi. Four and one professional MMA record. He's riding a two fight win streak. Win by rear naked choke and UAE Warriors 31. So that's no joke. Win by TKO and mixed martial arts Grand Prix 4 were his last two wins. Looking at his opponent. Leopold Goy, five and one professional MMA record. 
He he suffered his first loss in his last UFC bout in Aries FC six. Oh, that's the one I watched. Unanimous decision loss before then was on a four fight win streak in his professional MMA career, mostly fighting in NXT, so next level and one hundred percent fights. Oh, I hate I hate this Yamazaki looking motherfucker. Damn it! It's another swear word. Uh, anyways, the next fight. All right, get your predictions in the live chat, folks. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, even if it's just your prediction for a chance to win some prizes. Round one. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. Live play by play, live commentary. Live reaction, of course, interaction with all you amazing people in the live chat here. If you're viewing on Twitter, get your ass over to YouTube. Outside low kick and then a straight right hand by Sadi. He gets top position as Goy went to the ground. Wow, and back up to their feet, but Sadi rocked Goy. Or my my apologies, Goy rocked Sadi. I got that mixed up there. Couldn't see the tape on their gloves. Sadi in the blue gloves, Goy in the red, ladies and gentlemen. Sadi with dominant position now has body, or had the body lock grappling match now against the cage. Again, Sadi dropped Goy for a moment there. Look, it could be it was a straight punch. I'm 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 pretty sure it was a straight right. Still grappling here. And now they're separated center of the octagon. Three minutes and fifty seconds left in the fight. In the first round. Leg kick by Sadi. A one two by Sadi. Left hook drops Goy. Sadi top position again. In the guard of Goy. Hammer fist by Sadi. Full mount by Sadi. I mean, Goy, he's, he's doing his best to defend here. Goy now gives up his back. Goy now gives up his back. Sadi going for the rear naked. Good job by Sadi to... Fight the legs and he gets the rear naked choke in. It's in. And it's a tap. Look at the finish it! And it's all over! Boom! Oh, Sadi oh, with the oh, win. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Easy. Easy win, folks. My goodness. My goodness. Wow. Wow. What a quick fight there, folks. As Mehdi Sadi makes quick work of Leopold Goy. Increases his record to 5-1. and one. Shane, I didn't, I didn't announce my official prediction, but upon looking at Goy's record... I was going to choose Sadi, but I didn't announce it. So we'll just say that that one, you can win that one, or we can just call that one, you know, we just, we just don't even count that one, but you let me know. Uh, I, I did, but I, t I totally forgot. I like, I totally forgot to say it. So um, I was going to pick Sadi. I, I didn't say it, so it's not fair. Um, we could go with me just like picking the other guy and you win this one, or we can just like forget this one and move forward. So my apologies there, Shane. I was late to announce it or to going over the fighters. So you you let me know if you uh, if you want to take the win for that one or if you want this one to be a draw. Wow, some quick fights tonight. Yeah. Well, the first one was a little slow. It was more of a gra it was just a grappling match, right? High level grappling match, high pace. But no, since then it's been bang, bang, bang going through these prelims. Madi Sadi, beautiful, beautiful. Julian, again, welcome to the community. You're an absolute beauty. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, folks. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. I know a lot of you already are doing so. When it hits 50 likes, we'll choose a winner from the live chat. And we'll send you some City Light Project merch. I'm down by two, so count as you pick Goy. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful win. I do not like this official at all. Fire him, Ayers. Fire him. He is the Yamazaki of Ayers 9. Or just Ayers. 
Uh, thanks, stream looks nice. I'll be back for next events. Awesome, man. And it's just going to get better. I just moved uh, to a new place. Just moved to the United States from Canada. And um, I'm still settling in. So my office, I don't have like my desk set up yet. I will have like my actual like streaming space and you know maybe a couple camera angles and things like that. But I mean, I'm cozy on the couch right now. Fights on my iPad in front of me. Hanging out with you folks. Can't complain. Can't complain. No internet issues yet. I've had some internet issues in the past, but we good right now, folks. We good. We Gucci, as the kids say. We Gucci. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Last prelim on the card, folks. Last prelim on the card. All right. Let's take a look at our next two fighters in just a moment, folks. Don't forget to like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Happy Thursday, folks. We are over the hump of the week. How is your week going? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this next fight, too. I know we had some people in the chat talking about uh, the Russian fighter in this one. All right. And we will highlight both of them in just a moment here. I'm just going to change the ticker here on screen. But again, already already at the end of the prelims here, folks. How you digging Aries, uh, the promotion here? Aries fighting championship. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. For for guys who are very, guys uh, who are very, very new I'm very, very new to mixed martial arts. I mean, this is pretty high level. This is pretty high level stuff. I dig it. And the production, the broadcast, it's all chef's kiss. This is great. Miles above. Uh, oh, shoot. What was the one promotion that we did? FAC. Like, goddamn, folks. Goddamn. Uh, Polish fighter against uh, Russian. The Russian fighting out of France, though. And we will get into both of them in detail in just a moment. Featured prelim here, folks, right before we get into the main card. A lot of lightweights. We haven't even hit. So we've had a 125, 155, 145, 155, and now another 155. On the main card, we're going to start with 135. We don't have any heavyweights. We have one light heavyweight bout, one middleweight bout and two welterweight bouts on the main card. Obviously, the main event being for the vacant lightweight title at 155. I'll get right back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Don't you worry. Keep them coming. All right. Got that up on screen here. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on UFC Paris. I was there at it, and it was insane from the inside. Oh, my God. I did a live stream for it. It was We actually had so many people join. I think the card was awesome. You had a lot of French guys and gals win. Uh, a lot of exciting matches. I would say that the vibe there and the vibe I got from watching it was it was like just like watching a pay-per-view. And I would say it was up there with um, with when the UFC went to London the first time last year. Or this year, the, the first time when when Patty and Molly were not not when Aspinall hurt his knee, but anyways, that's what I would compare it to. And like Cyril Gon won in an absolute banger of a match, banger of a fight tied to Ivasa. I mean, I know you all were rooting for Gon, but like, how can you not love that guy too? Um, I thought it was an unbelievable event. Shane's picking Turpal. I pick you, Yun, Yunusov, Yunusov. To those kind of names means high level grappling, right? Yeah, anybody who has an of at the end of the at the end of the name, that's who you should be picking, um, and that's who I'm picking with before even going over uh, the stat sheet. And I'm picking, I'm picking him as well. Let's go over both of these fighters though. Bum, 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 bum. Last fight on the prelim before we go over to the main card, folks. Turpo Yunusov, two professional MMA fights two professional MMA wins. But this guy has been probably practicing grappling his whole career. 
Um, looking at him a little bit more here. He's had one amateur MMA fight where he won via submission 30 seconds into the first round. His first MMA fight, he won via TKO and hard fighting champion and in area six, uh, which actually that's the, that's the one I watched. I don't like remember this guy, but I rem- I do remember the card. Kenzie uh, Kuadras, who he beat via head and arm guillotine choke 40 seconds into the first round. Guys, this guy finishes his fights in the first round. Round first round 30 second submission as an amateur. First round TKO win. First pro win. Second pro win in Ares FC. Head and guillotine choke. Uh towards the end of the first round. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm 100 percent picking him. Uh looking at his opponent out of Poland, Jacob. Uh, Kigsmarski. Sorry if I mispronounced their names, folks. 14 and six amateur MMA record, making his pro debut here tonight. Again, 14 and six before suffering, uh, his last loss. He was on a four fight win streak, predominantly fighting in fame MMA and Alma is where he primarily fought in his amateur career. 14 and 6 amateur. So I mean that's no joke. Yes, they're amateur fights. Still no joke. Does he have the legendary Polish power? We shall see. We shall see. My money is on Yunusov. I'm walking it in. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as we get right back to it here. Yeah, true Ty was insane. Must love him after that night. I loved how with Ty too if also did like when he was fake hurt, he was like and then just swung that overhand. I mean, credit where credit is due. Cyril Gan is the real package at heavyweight. I think he is a better fighter than Francis Ngannou. 26 years old is the grappler out of France. 22 years old is the young amateur oh, f- amateur stud who had 14-6 on the amateur scene, making his pro debut here tonight. I'm going with the Polish fighter over the French fighter. He's going with the legendary Polish power. Locking it in. Get your predictions in here, folks. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. That is all you have to do to enter our giveaway here tonight. Once we hit 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes to a lucky commenter in the live chat. All right, folks. Last minute predictions. Who you got here? Just being announced in the center of the ring right now. Featured prelim before we get into the main card, folks. And we got two women opening the main card. We're the first welterweights of the night following that. 135 women next. Welterweights, light heavyweights, middleweights in the co-main event, and then the main event for the vacant lightweight title at 155 as the main event of the evening. Mark Goddard's here doing this event. All right, folks. Round one. Round one here. Eris 9, featured prelim. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Live play by play commentary, reaction and interaction with you folks. So keep the comments coming. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for chance to win the present. A one, two by Yusonov. Left jab, right hand combo drops the Polish fighter right away. Going for the nice reverse judo throw was Yusonov. Top position, laying down the hammer fist now. In the full guard of. Kazmarski. Working down the full guard of Kazmarski is Yasunov. Wow. One, two, and he's got some power as he knocked down the young Polish fighter. Great throw, and now trying to do some work in the full guard. Crazy, crazy start to this fight, folks. Solid defense from his back. From Kazmarski. 
high guard here, not allowing Yasunov to to pretty to do anything right now. Recovering there on his back. I mean, he's moving, he's working. Three minutes and thirty eight seconds left in this first round, but still doing a good job of defending any potential ground and pound. Any effort to change position, advance position by Yusunov. Kazmarski is doing a good job defending right now. Wow, what a way to start a fight, though. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. And by doing so, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. There we go. There's a shot from Yusunov. Some right hands from top position. Man, I, I really like this promotion. It's fun. And again, the broadcast is amazing. The production is amazing. And Mark Goddard uh, standing him up. Good, good job there. Good work by Goddard. Back to their feet and uh, the Polish fighter with a 1-2 going for the single leg takedown. Almost got it there. Good takedown defense by Yasunov. Oh, and a, almost got the takedown again, but now got reverse and guillotine attempt by Yasunov. So much just power and pressure by Yasunov after the failed takedown attempt by Kazmarski. Trying to get into the full mount now is Yasunov. Kazmarski doing a good job of Isolating the, the shoulder and head, pulling down Yasunov. Yasunov now modified half guard side control. And Yasunov now is looking to lay down some elbows, controlling the side of the head of Kazmarski with the elbow. Kazmarski did a good job of pushing actually against the cage. Good elbow from the bottom. I mean, Kazmarski, he's, he's fought a lot on the amateur scene, so he's probably, like, I mean, he's pretty green, definitely on the pro, and his power there looked like it. I mean, he felt a lot of power enemies from his opponent, Yasunov, right off the bat. But his defense from the ground looks looks good. So, yeah, sure, a lot of fine-tuning. This is his first pro MMA fight. But uh, he's definitely come into his first pro fight with some tools, despite being now beaten from top position. Good job by Yusunov for just dropping his body weight into those elbows on the way down. Yusunov on his feet, holding the legs of Kizmarski. Kizmarski tried to get back up to his feet. Yusunov did not allow him to do so. Uh, Nazarene Im Imovov, UFC fighter, is, Yusunov, is in Yusunov's corner. Yunusov's corner. That's interesting. Well, then I guess they, they must train together. That's awesome. Julian, I'm so glad you're here. Another, you know, fight junkie, much like ourselves. 15 seconds remain in this first round. You think this fight goes the distance, folks? Or you think we see it end in the second or sometime in the third? Five seconds, some hard shots from top position by Yusun Yusunov. Or Yanusov. Sorry, I keep saying Yusunov. Yanusov. My apologies, folks, for mispronouncing his name. Yanusov. Yeah, great first round by... Uh, now I'm psyching myself out. Yanusov. Shane thinks the fight is ending next round. I think Yasunov could finish it next round, too. A little bit more urgency now to end it. Now that he knows that you know the guy he's fighting has some de decent defense from the from the ground. And like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today as we watch some fights here. Eris Nine, live on Fight Pass, and of course here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Yeah, the broadcast, production, very impressed here. Very impressed with Ares. 
All right, round two. Let's get it all! And a flying knee attempt. Kramarski right off the bat. High kick by Kramarski. That lands. I mean, blocked, but like it's still, it still hurts. Takedown attempt by Kramarski and just... Yanusov is just too strong. Just kind of bullied him, son. Pushed him right down into his full guard. Kazmarski back in his full guard. Yusuna postures up. Some hammer strikes from bottom position by Yanusov. Overpowering here. Bullying him a little bit when it comes to the takedown stuff. Doing a good job from the bottom by isolating the hands of Unisov. High guard again by Kazmarski. Can he set up a triangle, perhaps? Three minutes and 50 seconds left in this second round. Center of the octagon, by the way, are both of these fighters. Mark Goddard telling Unisov to work. Yunusov is basically standing in the guard of Kazmarski, throwing punches down. Up kick by Kazmarski, but Yunusov's not even really worried about that. Oh, get. Yunusov got the back of Kazmarski now. Kazmarski trying to roll out of it. He does a good job of rolling out of it into the clinch of Yunusov. Good job by Kazmarski there, rolling out of that. Up against the cage now. Both these guys clinched up. Great roll out of that uh, out of that poor position by Kazmarski. Knees by Kazmarski now in the clinch. And Yunusov, again, he just bullied Kazmarski to the ground. Like, what happened there? It looked like Kazmarski just fell onto his back, fell right in, right into full mount. Yusunov now is in full mount. That, that was just a mistake. That was just a rookie mistake. Yusunov now just laying down elbows from top position. He's in full mount. The fight could be over. He has two minutes to end this fight. He's in full mount. Kazmarski just gave up. Full mount for free. Smarski doing a good job of rolling, but and Yusuna now going for the armbar. Yusuna pulling armbar. Doesn't get it. Crazy high guard here, so Yusuna could continue to work for that armbar, maybe even go for a triangle. With one minute and thirty seconds left in this second round. Now Kazmarski's in the... Oh, here we go. Armbar again. Armbar again. And there we go. Tap. Look at the finish. Yeah. And it's all over. Yunusov with the win. Submission victory. Oh, my God. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wow. And you know what? Credit to... Credit to Kazmarski. He put up a great fight. This being his first MMA pro fight his his pro MMA debut I mean he he got into some nasty terrible positions the broadcast was even saying that Yusunov probably would have made quicker work of you know opponents at the similar level of the last two that he defeated defeated and that uh the Polish fighter here was definitely a step up in competition uh they're showing some respect to each other now which is what you want to see We're talking about practice, son. Wow. Yeah, Yusinov is the real deal, folks. Yusinov is the real deal. All right, official decision for this featured prelim. 
I mean, we know the decision, the official announcement, I should say. All right, main card starting next year, folks. Shout out everyone joining. You are all amazing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We'll get the next fight teed up here in a sec. We're going to take a quick break, though, here between the prelims and the main event, or then the main card. Don't you worry. Just like a two-minute break. I'm just going to use the restroom. I'm going to grab a quick snack. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. And we'll be right back here to provide you with some live commentary, live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, of course, live interaction with all you amazing folks watching us live here on this MMA watch party. Fight companion, I guess is what the kids are calling them these days as well. But main card up next year, folks. It's been an exciting card thus far. Women bantamweights up next. We will highlight them in a moment, but we're going to take a break first. In just a moment's time. Keep the comments coming, though, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream. Talk amongst yourselves. It's not me talking to you. You talk to me. It's us just hanging out, talk, uh, conversing together. I'm just going to change the ticker here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nan Lopez, that's the coach of Cyril Gone, and he's the... Does he own this promotion or is he just um one of like the head uh, promote like one of the like the president or whatever? All right, here's the next one. There should be a promotion called Fast FC, and it would have fights starting immediately after the last. Well, this one, because it's on Fight Pass, does this one's pretty good. Look, Shane, look at this event right now. I'm going crazy, man. This is Ares Nine. Nine, folks. There are nine events in, and they're putting on a production in-house that looks like this, and a production for us that sounds so good on the broadcast side and looks like this. I am utterly impressed. I am I am blown away. And we've been watching a lot of you know smaller promotions. I'm absolutely blown away with this promotion. <laughs> we may never do FAC again, only Ares. <laughs> Gone as part of Ares, but it's mainly on Lopez. Okay, okay. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. On, and get Only two-minute break. Don't go anywhere. Just refill your water bottle if it's still too early to drink. If you're already getting in, you know, till the wobbly pops here, celebrating Ares 9, let me know what you're drinking. Happy Thursday. Thank you all for joining. No, no, no worries, Julian. No worries. I 100% understand it. You are way... You, you're, you're better typing English than me, brother. You're better typing English than me. Don't go anywhere, folks. Two-minute break. On the other side, we'll be back for more live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction, of course, interaction with you folks. We have giveaways on every single live stream. That's right. We have a giveaway on this live stream and a contest. All you have to do to enter is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel.
Welcome back to the City Light Project YouTube channel, live here covering Eris 9 in Paris, France, and what a card it has been thus far. We just wrapped up the prelims, and now we have the first fight, bantamweight, first women on uh, first women's fight on the card to uh, this evening. And it should be a banger. So we're on to the main card here. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. You are all amazing. The live chat's been buzzing. I'm buzzing. This card is buzzing. And I'm just so impressed with the production. The production of this event there on Fight Pass. The commentary has been awesome. Let's get in to uh, highlighting and previewing both of these two women as they've made their way to the octagon here. They're about to fight. They are being introduced in the octagon right now to us. Let's quickly go over them here on stream. Shane, I see you already got your prediction. I'll get right back to the live chat in a sec here. Uh, Rizian Zuak, fighting out of Morocco. Six and five record. Where she's Moroccan, fighting out of Paris, France. 36 years old. She lost her last fight in Aries FC six, but she won. She's basically fought in every single, well, not every single, but a ton of Aries FC where she's traded wins and losses. She's fought in FFA and Octagon. Looking at her opponent fighting out of France, Ioni Raza Fierison, seven and three record, thirty seven years old. Won her last fight at UAE Warriors 25. Was on a two-fight losing streak after that, but before that was riding a four-fight win streak, fighting in European beatdown. She's fought in Bellator. Shane, I'm going with Yoni Raza Fiarison because, I mean, I think she's fought in way better promotions. Bellator, UAE Warriors, let's freaking go. Locking it in. <laughs> Both these women, over 35, but psh, Raza Fiarison way, fought in way, way better promotions, has fought in way, way better opponents. That's who I'm picking here for this one. Let me know your predictions in the live chat. Shane, you're picking Zuak, so it's a good head-to-head -head matchup we have going here. Zuak is strong, but I'm afraid her defense is not complete enough. I don't know her opponent, though. Again, shout out to everyone joining. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat if you haven't already. Round one. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. I mean, both of these women look like they're tough. Both look like they have strength. Raza Ferrison uh, looks a little bit more in fighting shape. Some fast hands by Reza Fierson right off the bat. Nice straight right by Reza Fierson, followed by an outside low kick. Outside low kick attempt by Zuak. Left hook by Reza Fierson and Zuak going for the takedown. More of a clinch than a takedown. Zuak has a monster legs, though. And there, <laughs> Raza Ferrison tried to go for the sweep takedown, and Zuak's just so strong. And, I mean, massive legs there that she just kind of just laid on her for a sec. Outside low kick again by Raza Ferrison. A nice overhand by Zuak. Now it seemed to stun Raza Ferrison for a second. He's, I wonder if, like, is this a catchweight bout? Supposed to be at 135, but but I don't know. Three minutes and 18 seconds left in this first round. Overhand followed by takedown opportunity by Zuak. Defended by Reza Ferrison. Reza Ferrison with overhand left. Again, shout out to Aris. Great promotion. Spinning back kick by Zuak. Raza Ferrison caught. Well, caught her there a little off guard and was able to go for the single leg takedown. Right back up to their feet. 
Razzy Farson having a tough time staying on top position on the ground. Zuach just she looks bigger than her. Shooting for the takedown again is Razzy Farson. Great defense by Zuach right back up to their feet. Zuach with a beautiful takedown. Judo throw sweep kick. Woo! That was sick. Back up to their feet, though, and they're swinging. Oh, it looks like Reza Ferguson ate a knee upon entry. Kick by Reza Ferguson, but she got punished on the counter by Zuak. Zuak looked a little slow to start, but she's getting her rhythm here. That ref, ref uh, Reza Ferguson is gassing out early. Straight right by Reza Ferrison. That one landed. Oh, and then a left lands clean by Reza Ferrison on Zuak. Maybe she's got a little gas left in the tank yet. One minute, 28 seconds left in the first round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Straight right jab. That one lands. And, oh, I think Reza Ferrison got caught. Zuak landed a few good hooks and as she looks for the takedown, gets it. Reza Ferrison trying to get back up to her feet. Zuak, both of them back up to their feet now. Zuak in the dominant position of the clinch. Zuak looking like she's setting up another judo throw. 48 seconds left in this first round. Still in the clinch. Reza Ferrison now gets the body lock and a nice takedown. By Raza Ferrison into the full guard of Zuak. And now it's just 30 seconds to work in the full guard of Zuak. I mean, this has been a pretty good fight to start this main card here on Eris 9. Folks, let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Vote in the poll question. 20 seconds left in the first round. Still working in the full guard of Zuak is Raza Ferrison. Who's winning this round in your mind, folks? Let me know in the live chat here. Like play by play interaction, reaction, and interaction with all you folks. Start say interaction. <laughs> it's a comment driven live stream too. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and you're automatically entered into winning some City Light Project merchandise. All right, end of the first round. Tough one to score. Tough one to score. I don't know, folks. What do you got? I'm thinking that... Do you think Zuak did enough there? Halfway through this halfway through this round? Julian saying, good first round. Both went to war. Zuak won it, I guess. That's, you know, verbatim kind of how I'm thinking about it too. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm looking at the replays right now, and it kind of looks like uh, like you you could make the argument for either of them. Let's see some of the stats here on the screen. Thirty one shots landed for Reza Ferrison, eighteen Zuak, fifty two thrown, forty again for Reza Ferrison. So Reza Ferrison threw more strikes, more takedowns. Was Zuak? So what? Did, oh and. Zuak clipped Raza Ferrison with a left hook. Gets her back. Wow, she clipped her there. Zuak's laying on her side right now. Good defensive work by Raza Ferrison. But a hook by Zuak landed clean on Raza Ferrison. Send her to the ground. All right, Zuak's now on her back, but she has one of the legs of Raza Ferrison trapped and, psh, and just like that, right back to the feet, both these women. Zuak, dominant position in the clinch, pushing Raza Ferrison up against the cage and a spinning elbow by Zuak. Raza Ferrison looks tired. Raza Ferrison looks rocked. I think in the second half of the first round, yes. First half, uh, I don't know. Again, this 
This one's close. This one's close. Yeah, I don't know. Raza Ferrison, it looks like she's got, she's got a little bit of juice left, but she's wobbly here. Zuak stalking a little bit. Oh, and a, a right hook clips Radza Ferrison again. Radza Ferrison going for a head kick. Yeah, Radza Ferrison looks off here. Center of the octagon. And Zuak. Like, does, I don't even know if I call that. I mean, yeah, so the beautiful takedown now going for a Darce choke. Zuak potentially setting up a Darce choke in side control right now. Rod Zafarsen using the exit now and now reversing. Almost went for a guillotine. I think maybe landed a knee on the way up. And I mean, both these women are doing a tremendous job getting back up to their feet. Really good fight. Credit to both of them here. They're both bringing it. Not the cleanest technique-wise, but hey, I mean, I'll take a scrap, and that's what this is. Uh, Bobcats. What's going on, Bobcats? Thanks so much for joining. I'm watching on Fight Pass. Uh, does anyone else have uh, another spot where you're watching? I'm watching on UFC Fight Pass. Bobcats, I appreciate it, buddy. We do a ton of watch-alongs here every single week. Cage Warriors tomorrow, UFC Saturday. Fury FC on Sunday, and we have a pretty awesome fight community here. There's well over 30 people watching here, so if anyone has a stream, if anyone has a place where you can watch this, help our friend Bobcat's basement out right now. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Appreciate you joining, my man. Just by commenting, by the way, Bobcat's has entered our contest. Bobcat's, you're automatically entered into winning some City Light Project merchandise. We hit 50 likes on this video by the end of the stream. One minute and 28 seconds left in the second round, folks. And it's been a scrap. Technique-wise, yeah, it's not the most beautiful thing. But it's a scrap, and I'm here for a scrap. Let's go. And shout-out to all you French folks watching as well. Salut, bonjour. Je parle français, so if you do want to type in French here, I will understand what you're saying, and I can interact with you in French. Both these women are very slow in the striking now, where Radza Ferrison looked like she was a lot quicker in the first round. I mean, she just looks wobbly as hell, and... And yeah, just swinging there, almost like falls down. Zuak now with the guillotine. Zuak now with the guillotine. That's tight. 49 seconds. No, an elbow from like the back from Radza Ferrison. Oh, Bobcats, no. As a hockey guy who watches MMA, I enjoy the backdrop, so I got to drop a subscribe to this. I have 50 on Zuak. <laughs> Dude, I am literally from Canada, bro. I moved from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, all the way to Minnesota. My roommate has a signed OV jersey. He also has a signed Couturier jersey, but like, who the fuck cares about Philadelphia? Unless you're a Philly fan, then yay, go Philly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's Minnesota Wild game day today, so I had to wear the Wild jersey uh, for this live stream. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I'm a huge hockey guy as well. I actually started, uh, I founded a hockey podcast company before I, you know, took a break from that and just started doing fight streams for fun. So Bobcat's Basement, I hope uh, that you join us on some of our other live streams uh, down the road, brother, because sometimes when our streams are going crazy, especially during like one championship and shit, we get like hundreds of people in the live chat and it's so much fun. So I appreciate you. Someone help out Bobcat's Basement here, buddy. You're in Calgary? Dude, no way. That's so funny. I'm the opposite. So when I graduated high school in, in 2011... I moved to Calgary because there were no jobs uh, on the island. And I was originally, I got like my oil ticket. I was going to go, you know, oil rig it up, but I ended up getting a job at a cabinet shop and just, you know, learned, learned that trade. Didn't have to go rig it up. But uh, I lived in Calgary for three years and it was an unbelievable three years. It was some of the fun. It was way funner than college <laughs> living in Calgary. Isn't like 18, 19, 20 years old. Um, I toured with my band at the time. Mike, the co-creator of this channel, Bobcats, is actually originally from Cal Calgary. We were bandmates before we we started this channel together. 
Uh, he does none of the vlog and more um, creative uh, editing on all of our vlogs uh, stuff that we have, our fishing videos and things like that. And uh, I kind of do the live streams here because I'm the MMA junkie. So shout out to you. We're all hockey guys here. Bobcat's basement. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, round two, folks. Let's get it all. And they're swinging right off the bat. Round three, both of them just throwing haymakers, throwing hooks. And another unbelievable judo just kind of, I'm just going to jump on this chick throw by Zuak. I really thought Raza Ferrison was going to dominate here. But uh, Zuak's doing a tremendous job in this fight. First round was close. I would say Zuak took the second round and Zuak right off the bat in the first 30 seconds here in this third round is dominating. Fuck yeah, dude. I worked on the rigs for four winters. Small small world. I'll be sure to tune in for more content this weekend. Cheers. You are the man, Bobcats. Thank you so much. And yeah, check out some of our other channel or channel's content as uh, the pretty much the other two faces of the channel, Kyle and Tim. They're, Calgar they're Calgary boys too living on the island, brother. So what a small world. Thank you so much for joining. It's like a bull. I thought this was kind of like a bulldog choke from the ground by Zuak, but she's inside control right now. Trying to single one of the arms out and just kind of lay down strikes from top position. Monster legs by Zuak. Monster legs. I wish I had legs like that, folks. I was deadlifting yesterday. They'll get there. They'll get there. <laughs> so Reza Ferson only has one arm free right now to defend. Again, Bobcat Spaceman, shout out to you, brother. So happy uh, that you found this channel. Zuak wins. Not yet. There's three minutes left in the third round. It's It seems like she's going to win. The first round was close. Zuak won the second round, like hands down in my opinion, and she's dominating this third round. She's dominated the first two minutes of this third round anyways. As they're back to the feet, but Zuak had the back. Let goes, let, let's it go, actually, and they're back to center of the octagon. Not much now. They haven't. They was, they were looking for timing. Oh, and that's why Zuak tried to set up a huge uppercut there. Again, both of them not, <laughs> not the most technical strikers here by any means. But this is a scrap. These women are putting on a show. Straight right by Zuak. And again, Radza Ferrison, She had the better striking early in the first round. Her head movement's still pretty good right now. Zuak striking is, is a little gross, but. She's powerful. And when they land, oof, those hooks. If I was Zuak, though, I'd try to get this right back to the ground. I wouldn't want to strike with someone who definitely is the better striker. Nice left hook by Zuak, but I guess that's the thing. Zuak keeps, uh, keeps landing. That's the thing. What do you folks think? Jab by Zuak. Right hand jab. Just straight. Try to go for an overhand left. Yeah, Zuak striking is just wild. That's a good way to, to put it. Not pretty and wild. Ooh, that outside low kick looked like to hurt Radza Ferrison. Straight right by Zuak. On topology, it said that Radza Ferrison weighed in heavier than Zuak. I can't... I, and like this is no disrespect. Zuak just looks bigger. Like there's I think they maybe got that mixed up there. Now Zuak looking to take her down. Finally solidify that win on the judges' scorecards there. One minute left in this final round. Oh my goodness. Radza Ferrison just pretty much fell to the ground there. Zuak all over to try to get the takedown. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with, with Radza Ferrison. Maybe one of her knees is messed up because, like, this is her style, quote-unquote, but it just look, it looks like she's drunk. It looks like she just got punched in the face, wobbling, trying to come to. And then every now and then, dodge, you know, Matrix style, a punch, I get it. I'm being overly critical. But, like, look, look at her. It's a very interesting style. And she has, like, slipped a couple times as a result.
I'm interested to see if Aries will post last 10 seconds of the fight, folks. We'll post like the significant strike stats and things like that before they give the announcement. Oh, some nice knees. Some nice knees by Zuak. And there it is. That's the fight, folks. Look at the finish it. It is all over. Solid scrap. No finishes, but solid scrap. Who do you folks think won that one? I think I think Zuak took the the second and third round. I think Radza Ferrison took the first round. Yeah, Julian, solid fight. Again, the striking, not necessarily polished, but hey, it was a scrap. And I will, I'm here every day for a scrap. And like, dude, that, man, the Moroccan looks tough as nails, man. They embrace a good uh, display of respect here. Yeah, good scrap to start uh, start off the main card here. How many fights on this main card? We went we went crazy through, or uh, we we bombed. We went crazy through. What am I saying? We bombed through uh, the prelims like in an hour's time. So this is going to be the longest card, despite the twelve fight card. Especially when we get into some of these heavier fighters. All right, total strikes eighty eight for Radza Ferrison, forty two landed, one takedown. 89 strikes for Zuak, 62 significant. Shoot, I missed the takedowns, but it looked like they're quite a bit. Based on the striking being pretty even from what I've seen, Zuak got way got way ma- or got way more takedowns. So I would say that Zuak won this one for sure. Welterweight's next, folks. By the way, 170 pounders. Uh, the heaviest fighters that we've seen on the card thus far will be at welterweight. We do have a light heavyweight and middleweight bout later on the card. All right, official decision. Let's see how the judges scored this. Like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll give away some City Life Project merchandise. Okay, so this is 29-28 unanimous decision. Rizlin Zuak, you know, and that's that's a fair decision. That's a fair decision. That's how I scored it. She was more dominant. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go, baby. Great fight. Great fight to start the main card. And uh, that was uh, that wasn't even my pick, and I'm happy. That that's when you know it was a good fight, and that when the judges you know score it correctly. Um, it's funny because on Tapology you can see uh, fans um, voting on which fighter they think is going to win, and uh, no one voted for Zuak. No one voted for Zuak. All right, let's highlight the next fight here as we roll along here. Eris nine out of Paris, France. What a great event thus far, folks. What a great event. The production here on UFC Fight Past is unbelievable. The broadcast is a lot of fun. The live chat here today has been buzzing. You are all amazing. I say this all the time. I'm never going to ask for your donations, folks. I'm never going to ask for your donations. All I ask for you to do is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat so we can interact here and so you can join our fight community and meet some of our other regulars who join these streams as well. Okay. Yeah, the judo was just crisp, clean, perfect by Zuak. All right. The first welterweight bout on the card thus far, folks. Let's highlight the fighters. We have Ibrahim Mane with a 10-4 and record of... Fighting out of France, but originally from Gambia, 33 years old. He has, a, again, 10-4 and four record, riding a two-fight win streak. He, lo- he won his last two fights, one in Aries FC 7, and also got a win in Brave CF 55. So two very good promotions. Aries, I like what I see here. Brave, we've done a watch long for Brave, solid promotion as well. He's fought in Bellator. He's fought in EFC. 
I mean, you know what? This guy's this guy's fought in good promotions. He's fought some dogs, and he's riding a two fight win streak, ten and four record. I dig it. Let's take a look at his opponent, Yassin Najid, the scientist. Um, originally from Morocco, but fighting out of France. He has a nine and three record disqualification for an illegal upkick in his last bout before then got a win, loss, win, loss. He's 37 years old. Let's take a let's take a, a deeper dive into his career. Um, so he lost his first ever fight professionally in 2014, but then went on a tear. Two, four, six, seven fight win streak professionally, but didn't fight in the same promotions that his opponent did. Leading up to where you can see he suffered his first loss in RCC, and then he lost in UAE Warriors. He did get a win in UAE Warriors too, an eight and three Yusuf Weeby. So I mean that's via guillotine choke in the first round too. So that's respectable. Um, and then a legal upkick in UAE Warriors twenty nine uh, earlier this year. So let's see if this thirty uh, seven year old still has some. Fight left in him against an up and comer who's, hey, fought some tremendously respectable promotions or tremendous respectable promotions in Ibrahim, Ibrahim Mane. Um, it's Mane, Shane. It's Mane, and I'm picking him too. There's an EXI goo in his name, Shane. Come on. Come on, Shane. There's an EXI goo in his name. <laughs> Anybody who speaks French here is like, XI Goo, yeah, this guy knows French. <laughs> An engineer in everyday life is Yazin Najid, says the broadcast. Wow. So this guy just loves to fight. Again, the, the heaviest fighters that we have seen thus far on this card at 170. So we have some welterweights here. We do have light heavyweights later on the card. The co-main event are middleweights. And then the main event for the vacant lightweight title, 155. Hence the lightweight title, folks. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to change this ticker here on screen. Keep the comments coming, though. Let me know your predictions for this one. Shane told me his. I told you mine. I want to hear yours. And by doing so, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. So if that's not incentive to do so, I don't know what is. All right. If you're viewing from Twitter, by the way, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Um, bum, 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 bum. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a wild jersey, it is wild game day here. We're streaming out of Minnesota. They're going to beat the Kraken tonight, the crackheads. And I love how we have some Canadians in the live chat too here. Bobcat's basement in Calgary, Shane in BC. Julian out in Paris, which is awesome. Well, I don't know if you're in Paris, but France. Kenneth's here. Leo the Dawn is here. Thanks for the subscri uh, subscription, buddy. Victoria said hi. Uh, Manash from India stopped by. Peanuts was here. And, I mean, Peanuts was going on the tear with his prediction. Uh, Kulev. Bum, bum, bum. Who else stopped by? <laughs> Gravedigger. And Matt said hey too earlier today. Jacob loves THPN. Yeah, there you go. It was a good crowd today. Good crowd. Uh, Julian's going for Mane too. I mean, I think we all know how this one's going to end, folks. I think we all know how this one's going to end. The guy fought in Bellator. The guy's fought like one in UAE Warriors. Or some of the other promotions that I said that he was in as well. One sec. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Riding a two-fight win streak in his athletic prime of 33 years old. And he beat Magomed Ishakonov in uh, the last Ares event, or, or Ares uh, FC 7. He beat Artur Sevirdov at Brave CF 55. So if, if he's beaten... Oh, and he beat... Rizzi Boyev. So he's beaten an Oyev and two Ovs in a row. Pfft. A Yazin Najid, easy work. Easy work. Exactly that. 
Uh, I mean, Korska to be exact, best island of the world. I don't, I don't. It might. Does it rival Vancouver Island? That's a. I, I'm kidding. Vancouver Island is a beautiful spot, though. That's amazing, Julian. Again, shout out to you. Thanks so much for joining. Kenneth, hey, hell yeah, man. I'd be chilling, working. I got money on this one, too. Oh, Kenneth, I appreciate it, buddy. Aaron, yes, it's uh, didn't it, it's deer deer hunting season out here. Didn't it just start? I think, yeah, my co-host on my podcast is literally, he's taking the weekend off from recording because he's going deer hunting. Uh, butchering a deer, listening to the fights. Aaron, that's amazing. Uh, anxiety, hell or heck yeah, Aaron. Yeah, the co host of my podcast, he's hunting all weekend. I am not, I'm watching fights all weekend, but uh, but there you go. Yeah, shout out to the deer hunters, opening season, baby. Uh, Rayan Lazrak, hi, I'm from Morocco. Well, hello, welcome to the stream. A lot of Moroccan fighters on the card here today. That is so cool to see. Um, I appreciate you joining. We do a ton of these fight companions every week. We got a we got a full lineup of them for the weekend here. Cage Warriors, UFC, and Fury FC. So I appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live chat. By commenting, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video. Once we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll choose a winner from the live chat. And we'll send you some City Life Project merchandise. Um, if you want to check out, finally, our website's working again. For those who just won, who won prizes recently, they're coming. I promise. They're all on their way. Uh, this is our merch store. If you're interested uh, to see what's, what items we have, we're going to be adding some more, like some beanies slash toques. Americans call these beanies. It's so fucked. But whatever. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I think beanie, I think Wizard of Oz. What can I say? Um, but anyways, we're going to be adding some sweatpants. Uh, for the winter season, as well as some uh, like cute Christmas mugs and things like that. So check it out. Check it out. And you choose. You choose a prize if you win. All right. We highlighted the fighters. We gave our predictions. They're being announced there in the center of the ring. I can't wait for this one. First welterweight bout on the card thus far. Mark Goddard is the referee. Aries 9, I can't say enough ab about the production. Cannot say enough good things about the broadcast. This is one of my favorite and I think best broadcasts that we've seen. Hell, the, like the, this show looks better. Looks a little bit more clean than even Cage Warriors, to be perfectly honest. All right, round one. Let's get it all! Una, is switch kick? Already? By Najid into the clinch here. Into the clinch here. Najid's doing some good work in the clinch. Najid with the takedown. And Najid almost falls right onto the back of Mane. Right back up to the feet now. In the clinch, Mane throwing some knees. Wow, the pace on this fight already has been insane. And Najid lands right into half guard as he gets the takedown here. The broadcasting that Najid's very, very talented on the ground, but Mane with a beautiful reversal gets into the full guard of Najid in top position. Guillotine, guillotine. Najid has a guillotine on Mane. Uh, actually, that's less of a guillotine. That was more of like a darce. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. With the submission now. He's just holding the one arm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is the. I mean, he still has the neck, but I don't think he's really, really like squeezing, squeezing, going for that submission right now. Three minutes and 48 seconds left in this first round. Still going for it, though. Mane is, I, I guess it's in deep. He's squeezing there. But Mane's still good. Mane's still good. The official showing the official right on top of it. Just needs to adjust a little bit, though, does Najid, I think. I wonder if Goddard can't st can't stand them up if he's in a submission attempt. Three minutes left in this first round. And lets it go.
It was almost a guillotine. He has one, he had his one arm in defending it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mane gets on the back. Gets on the back of Najee now, and that's it. Look at the finisher! It is all over! He dug in the submission so quickly, I didn't even know what he submitted him with. Did he just did he just sneak in the rear naked right off the bat? Look at them. They're both gassed after that pace. Okay, I got to see this. Show me the replay here. That was insane. It must have been the rear naked. But he, he just quickly got his back and done. 20 seconds later, over. Oh, my goodness. Maybe he was letting Najid squeeze himself out. No, 100%. I don't know why Najid wanted to squeeze that guillotine so hard when, again, he didn't just have the neck. Like, the arm... Mane had one arm uh, trapped in there, which was kind of, which was almost like a defense. Was I mean, he wasn't intentionally doing it, but you know what I mean. It wasn't completely locked in, so I don't know why we were wasting energy there. But again, the pace was really, really quick right off the bat, folks. Naji came out swinging, <laughs> and Naji got a good takedown at one point. So yeah, wow, what a quick fight! What a quick fight! My pick one though, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, official announcement in the, in the center of the octagon. Ibrahim Mane. Now with a three-fight win streak, he improves his record to 11-4-0. Wow, that was quick, folks. That was quick. Coming off a decision fight, we go right to a first round stoppage. Yeah, Yajid came out, or Najid came out just crazy pace, crazy pace. Oops, sorry about that, folks. All right, the second women's fight on the card here, folks Melissa Dixon versus Dara. Oh, my goodness. Zelenziakova. Zelenziakova. That's going to be fun as uh, to do play-by-play -play for that one. Melissa Dixon versus Zelenziakova. Wow. Both of them perfect records, professional mixed martial arts. We'll get into talking about them more in just a moment here. Keep the comments coming, folks. By the way, it's a comment-driven live stream. I appreciate all you joining. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and of course, interaction. I should say, most importantly, live interaction with all you folks. We have giveaways going on right now, so like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some merchandise. Shane's picking Dixon. All right, all right. Before I even, before I even highlight them or, or talk about them or anything, Shane's already, already choosing... Bum, 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 bum. I just want to change the ticker on the bottom of the screen here, and we'll get right into this next one, folks. And we're just buzzing through the main card, folks. 135ers here, so I don't know if we'll see a stoppage, but as we're looking in the preview here, both of these women look strong as hell, so we shall see. I'll get right back to the comments here in one quick moment, folks. World class bantamweight action, says the announcer. Uh, Melissa Dixon from the UK. Oh, so she beat. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's just dive into it. Melissa Dixon. 4-0, professional mixed martial arts, fighting out of England, Lions Gym. Uh, 31 years old, obviously 4-5 win streaks, and she's 4-0 in professional mixed martial arts. She did fight quite a bit on the regional scene, going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5-4 and four in the regional scene. 
Uh, she's fought in Golden Ticket Promotion and Aries 7. Aries 7, she actually beat Zuak. That was her fourth professional win was against Reason Zuak. They got some fun walkout music, too. Um, looking at her opponent, Dara Zelenziakova, 7-0 and record. So perfect record as well. Seven wins in a row. Fighting at a search pro. 26 years old. Won her last fight in Ares FC6. She's fought an open fighting champion. MMA series. And GIT Sec Pro. No amateur fights, but GIT, I mean, it might as well just be amateurs. But, anyways, one of her FC debut, much like her opponent. Excited to see this matchup. Uh, Dr- Dar- Daria, my apologies, is ranked number one uh, in her region of. Russia, first ranked out of 102 fighters in her region. Dancing in the moonlight. Um. Oh, Zayn Zinikova can speak really good English, too. So yeah, 31 years old is Melissa Dixon, who has you know a few, few less professional fights than Zelenziakova. However, a little bit more fight experience fighting on the regionals as well as being 31 years old versus 26. Let's get right back to the comments here as I see I'm missing some. Bum, 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 bum. Got me 100 from Mane. I'm up 175, only losing 25 on... Because Marski, Kenneth, I love when you make money. I love when you make money on the stream. I always say, I always root for every uh, buddy who's in our live chat here as part of this community. Betting, I hope that you all do well. I mean, we don't have any degenerates here because degenerates lose money. You all win money. I put 25 on Dixon. Let's see. I think she's fought better competition. That's That's where I agree with you. But Shane... I'm going with the Russian just to go head to head with you. Let's go Dixon. Cute girls first. (laughs) I do. You can make an argument for both of them. My man, both of them are beautiful and both of them are look like they're tough as hell. I'm excited for this one. Don't typically see knockouts in promotions, not named the UFC in women's divisions, but Hey, one thirty fivers, both of them look pretty damn fucking both of them in actually really good shape. I always hope for a finish, whether it's a knockout or a submission. So let's go. Yaz, what's going on? What's going on, Yaz? Um, Yaz, UFC Fight Pass. That's where I'm watching it, bro. Or you could just look it up on Facebook. If you literally just go on Facebook search and look up Aries 9 or Aries FC 9, you'll find more than you'll ever than you'll ever need. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yazi, Facebook or, you know, Fight Pass, man. I don't think Ares is showing it on their YouTube channel, unfortunately. So, height. So, the Russian is taller. um, But the UK girl has a little bit more reach. So interesting matchup here. Interesting matchup. I'm excited for this one, folks. Both of them undefeated. Both of them will suffer their first loss here tonight. Will it be by finish? Will it be by decision? We shall see. Shane's rooting for Dixon. I'm rooting for Zel... Oh, my God. Zelenzinakova. Julian's rooting for Dixon. Kenneth. Has got ten bucks or twenty five bucks on Dixon. Let me know if you're in the live chat who you're rooting for or who you're betting on here tonight as well. Again, blown away with the production, blown away with the commentary. 
for this promotion airs. I mean, this is a this is a great event thus far. The fights have been awesome. The, again, the commentary production is awesome. I, I, if you're there, it looks like it's just such a great event to go to. Like, no disrespect to Cage Wars. Cage Wars is going to have their, what, 145th event tomorrow? And the production here is way more slick. Now, again, promotions like Cage Wars, some of the smaller promotions who have had a lot, a lot of, uh, hosted a lot of fights, they've kind of paved the way for some like something like this that's coming with some money and able to put on a show like this, but it just looks so beautiful. And I mean, the camera angles and everything, I mean, just props to them. I'm, I didn't know what to expect when I first saw Eris. It's come a long way even from its first, you know, eight eight uh, shows b before. All right, round one. Let's get it all! Let's it on. Shout out to everyone viewing, by the way. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Like play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction here with all you folks. Oh, and a nice one-two by the Russian jab left straight right landed on Dixon again Dixon's got a little bit more reach Zelenika oh my god I'm gonna butcher her name every time the Russian <laughs> oh now lands a straight left overhand right and then two more hooks for good measure the Russian is piecing up Dixon on the feet right now Zilin Zinyakov. Zilin Zinyakov. God damn, I'm so sorry. Ali Skov. I like that. I like that. Bro, just go on Facebook, man. Just go on Facebook. Facebook, type in the name of the event. You'll find more than you could ever dream of. Uh, or UFC Fight Pass. Uh, if anyone has a link, drop it to our boy here. I know someone had one earlier. Um, help a brother out. Help a brother out. Or help a sister out. Uh, appreciate you joining. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just by commenting, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, help out Ali if you can, if anyone has a link. If not, go on Facebook. I found some earlier just by, like, within some groups, just by looking up the name of the event. Or UFC Fight Pass. It's super, super cheap monthly, and you get all these free promotions as a result. Again, piecing up Dixon on the feet. Zelen Ziakova landed about four hooks there. Entered on the jabs, too. Zelenyakova is going to win this fight if it stays standing on the feet, folks. <laughs> Thanks, you are the best. No problem. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We do watch-alongs like this every week. I hope to see you on the next one. Or right, I hope that you stay. Yeah, Dixon is bleeding. Zelenyakova. Oh, my God. Zelenyakova. It's a long name. Zelenikiova is killing Dixon right now in the striking. Dixon now clinched up against Zelenikiova up against the cage. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this first round. Come on. Come on, Zelenikiova. Just end this so I don't have to keep butchering your name. Just end it. <laughs> Two minutes left in this first round. Still clinched up against Cage. I imagine the official is going to separate them soon if Dixon doesn't do anything with this. Dixon looking for the takedown, and she gets it right into the full guard of Zelenikiova. Now this is Dixon's game. Dixon's just bleeding all over her opponent here as she's in the full guard of Zelenikiova. Okay, I'm starting to get better at it. Shout out to everyone viewing, by the way. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Zelen Zelenik <laughs> the Russian is really good. She Her striking is tremendous. And her defense in the guard looks pretty damn good, too. She's pretty much, like, not allowing Dixon to do anything. Oh, going for an armbar now? Armbar attempt by Zelenikiova. One minute left to work. Zelenikiova is going for an armbar. 
Good job by Dixon for just pinning the face of Zenikova down with her knee. Dixon is just bleeding all over Zenikova now. Passing into side control. Good job by Dixon with 38 seconds left in this first round. Gets into side control. Now trying to get into full mount. Dixon into full mount. 30 seconds to work. Dixon's in full mount. Dixon needs to posture up now. Pushing against the forehead is Dixon. Again, good defense by Zelenikiova, but now some elbows are coming from top position here. Full mount by Dixon. Elbows just mm, to the face of Zelenikiova here. This is nasty. This is nasty. Five seconds left. Is the ref going to end this with five seconds left? Ho are we going to a second round or is this fight over? The ref calls it. I'm going to finish it! Oh my goodness, the ref call that literally was one second left in the round, and the ref calls this fight. Dixon's face is bloodied up right now as she's doing some break dancing. One second left. I mean, credit to the ref. His job is to protect the fighters. Those are some nasty elbows. But oh my goodness, with, with eight seconds left, you just think, all right, just we're we're just gonna let this go on. But you can see Zelda Kiova's the right side of her, her cheekbone there is just swollen and cut, and I guess didn't want to do any more damage here. That is the end of the fight. And it doesn't look like Zelda Kiova is really arguing too much right now if she really really thought that it was a, a bad call she would be arguing a little bit more now uh yeah Z, i just told you i just told you yeah Z. go to facebook look up the name of the promotion i'm sure you can find it there i i don't have a link for you bro i'm on ufc fight pass i'm on ufc fight pass right now so i apologize if anyone in the in the live chat can help out yaz z that would be awesome um Every now and then, someone in our live chat will uh, will have uh, a link for you to watch. But I apologize. I'm watching it on Fight Pass. Fight Pass is awesome. And uh, I'm doing play-by-play -play for those who don't have it. So thank you for joining, Yazi. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow, another quick fight. Right out of the first round. And we move along here. Okay, we had a friend in the live chat earlier... Who know who knew one of the next fighters on here? Uh, Shane has an interesting stat, folks. He says so far every time I've been watching these live streams, which is seven fights, the person on the left wins. Every time, the person on the left wins. Oh no! Wait, tonight, tonight. Uh. I don't, maybe, but I don't even see odds for this. Wow. So, Melissa Dixon increasing her record to 5 and 0. Oh. Zelenikiova suffers her first ever pro MMA loss. Uh, everyone's asking me for a link. Uh, Fran Neon, I found a bunch on Facebook just by looking it up. Really easy. I, I looked up the, the name of the event and I found like three right off the bat in groups. So I'd recommend going doing that. If anyone in the live chat has any links for Yazi or Fran here, um, hit them up. Hit them up in the live chat. If not, I'm watching on Fight Pass. I love Fight Pass. My streams never go out on Fight Pass. So there you go. Um, and Fran and I do play-by-play -play commentary, live reaction um, for a lot of MMA events uh, at least twice a week. We're doing four this week. Cage Warriors tomorrow. UFC on Saturday and uh, the Fury FC on Sunday. Usually when the chats are a little bit more buzzing, when there's like 30 to 50 people, someone will always provide a link. I apologize if no one in the chat has one for you right now, brother, but I hope you can find it on Facebook or, or Reddit either, or, and I'm sure you can find it. Uh, he's right on topology. Every person on the right wins. Well, on what? No. Interesting. Thanks for left, left. I was like, what are you talking about, Kenneth? You just put my brain to a pretzel there. Well, there you go, Kenneth. You're up again. Kenneth just won more money. 
God damn. I think I'm I'm I shouldn't have given Shane the free win earlier. I feel like ever since then my luck has just been going downhill. All right, let's uh let's see up these next fighters here. As I believe someone in the chat who was here earlier's friend is fighting next. Uh welterweights again here, folks. And the first welterweight fight ended very quickly, so we'll see how this one goes. All right. That's disgusting. Did you folks hear that stat? That can't be accurate, or he'd probably be dead. He said he was in his last fight. There was the he bled so much from a cut that he only had like a liter of blood left in his system after the, the fight. There's no way that's true. I mean, if so, that's fucking crazy. But like, I, I highly doubt it. Um, all right, I'm just teeing up the little ticker here on the bottom of the screen. By the way, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the State Light Project YouTube channel, live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with you folks. Drop a link if you uh, if you want to help out your brothers and sisters who are looking for a stream. I'm watching on Fight Pass. I'm doing play-by-play. -play. I hope you all uh, will continue watching these last few fights with us here on Aries 9 and live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. We have a giveaway, and all you have to do to enter is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. That is it. When we hit 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes to some lucky people who commented in the live chat from our merch store, thecitylightproject.com. A vulnerable poll question as well, folks. On Tapology, they put the winner on the left after the fight is over, but I haven't refreshed the page. And so far, every matchup has the fight on the left winning. It's insane. What what a stat. Thank you so much for sharing that stat, Shane. I appreciate it. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. Here we go. Matt Mine, earlier in the stream, says, I tell you what, my mate Leonardo... Damiani will kick some real ass. Well, here we are. His mate, D, uh, Damiani, is fighting next here, folks. So that's who I'm rooting for off the back. Shane, I'm just rooting for him. I'm locking it in. I want Matt's friend to win this one. Let's take a look at his pro record. Leonardo Damiani, the Ram. Uh, he's running. He, he won his last fight. So there you go. Three wins in his last five fights. 32 years old, fighting out of Italy. Proudly representing Italy. He won his last fight in Aries FC 6, unanimous decision. Before then, he lost in Cage Warriors and, funny enough, Contender Series to AJ Fletcher via Flying Knee. So this guy fought in a great promotion. That is Cage Warriors. He lost. Unanimous decision. The fought in contender series on his way into potentially the UFC. Fought in Golden Cage. Has won in Cage Warriors. Italian Cage Fighting. Okay. Venter FC. And has two wins on the amateur scene. So he lost his first pro MMA belt. Then went on a two, four, five fight win streak. Suffered another loss. Then went on another tear. Five fight win streak. Lost twice. Contender series. Cage Warriors. Won his last fight in Aries FC unanimous decision. 11-4-1 is the Italian Leonardo Damiani. His opponent out of Argentina, Loreno St St Staropoli, Pepe Staropoli, a 10-5 record. He's only 1-4 in his last fights, but he did, he did win his last fight. Did the 29-year-old. He won his last fight at Aries FC 5. But before then, uh, actually, whoa, former UFC fighter. Before then, uh, went on a four-fight losing streak in the UFC. Lost to Muslim Salikov, lost to Tim Means, lost to Roman Dolidze, lost to Jamie Pickett. Does have wins in the UFC to Tiago Alves, to Hector Aldana. That's it, actually. He only has two wins in the UFC. So he went... Two and four, two and four in the UFC um, did Loreno Staropoli. Now, again, still relatively young, 29 years old, trying to rejuvenate 
his career in Aries. So this should be a hell of a scrap. This should be a hell of a scrap. Um, bah, 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 bah. I'll go Star Poli, says Shane. Also, if you're wondering, our record, not counting the draws, you're up five to four. Oh, so this one actually means something here. Uh, the Viking of Normandy. I love your profile picture. I should have worn my Simpsons hoodie. For you who will win the main event of the evening. That's a great question. And we will go into it in a little bit more detail when we get closer to the main event. Man. It's a, it's a tough one because the 26-year-old, though he's on a two-fight losing streak, he is pretty... He is pretty ferocious. He is pretty good. He is pretty good. And he's got that youthfulness on his side. He had a crazy winning streak before suffering these losses again. But I just don't... I mean, yeah, UAE Warriors is a pretty good promotion. Brave CF is okay. But I truly think Aries is a bigger step up in competition. Where Damien, again, dominating in Aries FC thus far. And... UAE Warriors, sure, but I don't know. It, it's tough because they both, I see, fought in Bama as well. Cage, I'm giving the edge to Damien just because he's fought longer. Um, despite his record being 2014 and two, he's fought longer. And I, I'm pretty sure he just, I, I would confidently say, has just a little bit more experience with tougher opponents. But again, it, it's, it's razor thin close and it should be a tremendous lightweight title fight. Thank you so much for joining. I got Damiani in a parlay with Lapulis. Uh, let's go see how these turn out. All right, round one, folks. Let's get it Keep all. Keep the comments coming. Uh, Martina, thank you so much for getting your prediction in. Going to Talon as well. Already striking center of the octagon, both of them. Uh, the Russian girl lost, actually, the final second. Final second of the first round, the, the official called it. Dixon, ground and pound. Damiani in the blue gloves. Staropoli in the red. Damiani almost had an opportunity to pounce when he caught the leg of Staropoli. Ground and pound. The last two minutes, she got uh, top con she got top position after a takedown, and it was good night, Jim Kite, from there. Oh, and this is a scrap, folks. This is a scrap. A little bit taller is Star Poli, but Damiani just looks like he is in tremendous shape here and has some power in those shots. Yeah, Kenneth won some money because of that. Oh, and a nice left hook by Damiani. Or sorry, by Star Poli. But a good combo by Damiani. I don't know if these guys are going to the ground anytime soon. This looks like just a scrap on the feet. Oh, a great left hook by Damiani. That rock star pulley. Damiani goes with a kick. Oh, and Damiani just took a left hook from hell. Or a straight right, I should say. Oh, he took a straight right, then the left hook. But I think it was a straight right that really rocked him. Damiani now looking a little wobbly. These guys are just exchanging bombs. And we're only two minutes into this fight. Again, shout out to everyone joining. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. Oh, Damiani went for an uppercut. Outside low kick by Staropoli. Staropoli with some good combos there. Damiani, I think, got humbled a little bit after just taking that crazy, crazy shot. Outside low kick again by Staropoli. Come on, Damiani. Our boy here in the chat, Matt Mine, his friend, Damiani. We got a fellow Italian, Di Mario, rooting for Damiani. Let's go. Oh, straight right by Staropoli. Oh, my goodness. Flying knee attempt by Damiani. And then right jab. Uh, Bobcats. Yeah, I think there's a few people who are looking for it earlier. They might have, they might have uh, pieced out, though. <laughs> Wow, this is a scrap, ladies and gentlemen. This is a scrap. Both of them exchanging hard shots here. 
left straight by Staropoli. Martiana needs it. Left hook again by Staropoli. Staropoli is the one stalking Demiani now, but Demiani is not out of this. This is amazing. I love the the broadcast again. The broadcast team here, awesome. Shout out Rob Black. Outside low kick by Staropoli. So in the opening frame of this fight, uh, Demiani came out swinging. He's got a, an iron chin here, and he's landed some great shots. Even rocked Staropoli, like rocked him back a little bit. Staropoli, as the fight's gone on, has been able to gauge the timing a little bit more and is landing more significant strikes, in my opinion. One minute left in the first round. Keep the comments coming. Oh, Staropoli now rocked Demiani with two hooks. Demiani, I should say. My apologies. Last minute of this first round. Great first round. What a scrap by these welterweights. What a scrap. Staropoli, though, looks like he's the one to be cut. Oh, man, and another hard shot on Demiani. Demiani's an iron chin, I swear. This guy's got like a... Just a, a head that's a rock. The bra guys just said it there. Demiani's a zombie. Like, you can hit him so many times, he just will not... He will not stop. Uh, we're still in the first round, Zerlo. Still in the first round. 20 seconds left in the first round. Both of the fighters have landed some incredible shots. Demiani has been rocked a couple times. Staropoli has been rocked a couple times. They've just stood in the center of the octagon, thrown kicks and punches, dynamite hooks. Damiani with a left hook, followed by a combo. Wow. So, uh, Pascal, uh, Pascali Zerlo, end of the first round here. Seemingly an even fight, in my opinion. I'm rooting for Damiani, too. He is my pick to win this one. What a mental fight to start this. Or sorry, what a mental round to start this fight, folks. Like, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't know who won that first round. Who was rocked more? I mean, both of them knocked each other backwards with, with, with multiple shots. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who do you think won that first round? Do you think it's just like straight draw? Like it, it could be. I mean, Staropoli's cut. Does that count? Maybe a little bit more damage done? All right, folks. Round two. Let's get it all. Thirty-eight strikes from Staropoli. Oh, I missed it. They got to keep those uh, those striking stats on a little bit longer. That's my only gripe with Aries FC right now. Demiana put his lights out for Italy. I think it goes this distance. They will go with the hometown boy. Uh, well, I mean, is he Italian fighting out of France? <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm going to have to... Kenneth, I'll, I'll see how this second round goes, and then I'll... Then I'll see. I'm still... That first round was just so close, and these guys seemingly are still standing. I mean, no one has even tried to go for a takedown. All right, one minute into this second round. Damiani still just pushing forward. Sir Pulley is no joke, though. They're just both landing. Their hooks and overhands are seemingly landing... Staropoli doing a better job of landing with his body shots, but in fairness to Demiani, he's not really thrown any outside low kick by Demiana, Demiani. Ooh, a good left hook landed on Demiani by Staropoli. Staropoli's doing a good job, but when he throws that overhand right, he finishes with the hook, and that that's seemingly landing. Oh, wait, my bad. I thought Staropoli was French for some reason. No, he's uh, Argentine. From Argentina. And Sir Poli, you know, had a, a two and four UFC run before being cut earlier or last year. Dimiani, though, 
He had a chance on Contender Series. This is crazy. Demiani's just picking apart now the, the outside lead leg of Serapoli. Osterpoli comes in, just escapes an uppercut. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in the second round. Ooh, and a nice liver shot landed on Demiani by Osterpoli. That one seemed to sting him a little bit. And there we go. Demiani now going for the takedown. That must have hurt him, man. That liver shot must have hurt him. Demiani now going for the takedown. They're both on their feet here. He has the body lock, though. Two minutes and 19 seconds left. They separate. Demiani, that, he didn't like that liver shot. And there we go. Sterpoli's going right back to the body. Yeah. Sterpoli's going right back to that body. Can't lean too much forward, though. Or Demiana's going to... Oh, Demiana looks... He looks a little compromised after that liver shot, man. Oh, and a spinning back fist by Sterpoli on Demiana lands clean. Demiani is in serious trouble right now, folks, as he goes to clinch. Uh, Martina Bobcats said he needed or that he had one. A nice takedown by uh, Demiani. Ask Bobcats, Martina, or go on Facebook. Facebook and just look up the name of this event. You'll find some groups where they, they have it. I found two upon my first search. Strapoli. Oh, I guess that's I guess you pronounce Strapoli. He's starting to slow down a little bit too, but Dimiani again with the double leg and that that lands. Let's go, Italian boy. Pass the mafia and punch. Let's fucking go, baby. Exactly that. One minute left in this second round. Back up to his feet is Star Poli. Demiani, Demiani, though, makes him pay with a knee. Back to the center of the octagon. 45 seconds left in this first round. He's got slowing down a lot. The pace in that first round was crazy, but they're both landing. An uppercut lands on Demiani. On, again, Sturapoli attacking that liver of Demiani. Demiani doesn't like that again as Demiani goes for the takedown. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't know. One of them worked for me earlier, uh, Viking in Normandy. Again, sorry, guys. Like, <laughs> I do things illegally for my YouTube channel, right? Because that's what we do here. I'm watching on Fight Pass. I'm a fight junkie, so I have to have Fight Pass. I can't survive a day without Fight Pass. So I have to have Fight Pass to watch all the promotions that I watch. So that's what I watch on, folks. Sorry, I don't have anything else for you. Keep asking the live chat. If there's people here watching who don't have Fight Pass, I'm sure they have a link for you. That's all I got. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to be the Debbie Downer here, but y'all have the opportunity to watch this. I would take it if I were you because it's a tremendous, tremendous app to have. It's a tremendous, tremendous league to follow. Go, Demiani. Go, Demiani for Italy. Let's go. <laughs> Demiani can eat all the punches. Dude, the guy's got an iron chin, man. There we go, Martina. There's a live on TikTok. Let's go, Viking of Normandy. You got this. Uh, Ale Hustle. Look at the comment above, brother. There's a live on TikTok, apparently. Or you can go on Fight Pass, which is where I recommend watching it. Folks, if you just get Fight Pass, then you never have this issue, and you have every other promotion as well. So get Fight Pass. That's what I'm saying. They don't even pay me for that. I'm just saying, like, don't you want to watch LFA too and, and all these other great promotions? All right. 47 strikes landed for Demiani. 40 for Sturpoli. Third and final round, folks. Let's get it all! Martina's doing God works here. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Check the live chat. Sturapoli's got some heavy hands as he lands again. Demiani wants none of it, trying to take Sturapoli to the ground. Again, shout out to you, Martina. You're the real MVP. Well, it, is, it is a very, very close fight, folks. 
Demiani. Oh, with a nice knee to the head from Demiani, followed by some elbows. This is a scrap, folks. So far, fight of the night, in my opinion. Oh, and a nice uppercut. A right uppercut by Staropoli. Trading leg kicks now. Trading overhands. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. I want to hear how you feel about this fight. A great takedown by Demiani. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Oh, again, Viking of Normandy. I'm not watching any other live but Fight Pass, my man. I'm I'm commentating on the fights and watching via Fight Pass. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm not opening links right now, finding illegal streams for people. I'm not doing it. Um, so I apologize. Um, we're trying to help each other out here, but uh, I'm focusing on the fights. And if you guys don't want your streams to end, get Fight Pass. Uh, so I apologize, the Viking of Normandy. I apologize. Demiani trying to get the back of Serpoli now. Three minutes left in this third round. Again, if anyone in the chat has a link, has a place to watch this outside of Fight Pass, help us out here. Throw it in the chat. I'm, uh, I'm focusing on the fights here. I'm focusing on the live chat, focusing on the stream. I'm not going to go fishing for streams for you guys. <laughs> you should have came prepared. You should have came prepared. Exactly that. Demiani with two minutes and 44 seconds now, working to get the back of Serpoli. Serpoli trying to stand back up here. Demiani on the side of Serpoli right now, has the hook in under his shoulder. Still has his back, but they're back to their feet. Back to the feet, and they're striking again. Oh, my goodness. Steropoli with the overhand right, followed by a left hook, and that lands so cleanly. This is an absolute scrap. An absolute scrap. Another body shot. Steropoli lands. But they're both so tired. Your Steropoli starting to drop his hands a little bit. Now Damiani walks forward with some strikes of his own, too, and he pushes. Oh, they're just both just throwing. They're both just throwing. Damiani threw a kick caught by a Steropoli. Steropoli lands with the counter. Damiani going for the takedown again. Damiani gets the... That's a nifty move to get that single leg, but now a reversal by Steropoli. Back up to their feet, Steropoli, with the clinch work. I just feel bad that you guys uh, can't watch the fights with me. Uh, talking about the live TikTok, but no problem. We'd have to apologize. I'm going to continue to keep giving you some color if you, you know, for what's going on if you don't have the fight, man. I'm just glad that you're here, Viking of Normandy. I'm glad that we're just connecting regardless. I, again, I just feel bad. I just feel bad because I'm getting to watch the fights and I want you all to watch the fights too. <laughs> Fernand Lopez shutting down all the live streams like Dana White. One minute left in this third and final round, folks. I did not think this was going three rounds. I thought just like the last welterweight fight that this was going to end in the first round. And nice. Is it going to be a slam? Is it going to be some... I mean, it was an ugly slam, but it was a slam takedown by Demiani. Put it... I mean, put it this way. In the striking, I think Sturapoli has the slight edge. But with all the takedowns that Demiani's added... In this game plan, in this fight, I think he wins this fight. 33 seconds left. I think Damiani did more in the takedown realm. Control time. Where he where that's going to edge out what's such a close striking affair. Uh, we're still going, Sam, uh, Samueli. We're still going. 15 seconds left. And it's been a very, very close fight. As far as the striking, I think... I think Steropoli, it's not over. Like I just said, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I, I am literally answering your question right now. Now it's over. Okay, now it's over. We don't know who won yet. I'm giving you the rundown, okay? The first round was very, very close with the striking. I have no idea who won the first round. The second round, razor thin close on the striking as well, but uh, Demiani with, a few more, with, with, with the takedowns and control time. This third round, it was pretty. It was kind of the same as the second round. Storopoli better in the striking. Demiani employed way more of the grappling and the takedowns. I, I would say that Demiani did enough to win this fight, in my opinion. 
Total strikes, 132 for Staropoli, 114 for Demiani. 79 significant for Demiani, 109 significant for Staropoli. So that's the thing. Staropoli had more significant strikes. Demiani did more in regards to the grappling, control time, and takedown. Staropoli shows more damage. Yeah. But you can't see liver damage, right, Shane? That That's the one little caveat about that damage is there's some damage you can't see, man. Like, put it this way. As soon as Staropoli landed those two liver shots, Demiani abandoned the striking plan and went for the takedowns. That's got to that's gotta count for something in the judge's eyes. Dude, ex Julian, that's what I said when we started this. Every, I mean, again, the last event I saw from Aries was Aries 6, but everyone on the... On the the production in-house and on the, the broadcast side, it's just gotten better every time. I really like this uh, promotion. Kenneth, holy shit, what's it going to be? Yeah, this is a this is a very, very close fight. This is a very, very close fight. Good display of respect uh, between both of the, the coaching staff and the fighters here. Um, yeah, I got the Italian winning this one. Let me know if you think otherwise uh let me know who you voted for in the poll question too by the way folks it, that's just incentive if you like the video and drop a comment in the live chat you're automatically entered and winning some prizes might as well tell me who you voted for in the poll question i hope it's not a draw i just i like seeing a definitive winner but they're saying it's so close that it potentially could be a draw folks Unanimous decision. Yeah, Loriano Damiani. Wait, are you? Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Storopoli won. Oh my God. I thought because their first names are so similar in Damiani's reaction. Storopoli won that. Oh my goodness. Storopoli won this unanimous decision. That's crazy. Wow. I thought Damiani won that based on like the way that the announcer said his first name and then is like jumping up and down. I was like, wait, wait, what? Oh my goodness. Um, I was picking the Italian too and I thought he did enough with the takedowns. Yeah. Very, very close fight. And you know what it was? It was the significant strikes. Steropoli had over 100. Demiani had, what was it, 78? Uh, I would have given it to Demiani, to be perfectly honest. I agree. That, a, that was my pick, and that's who I think rightfully won that one. But But I said it going into it like, or going into the decision, it was a close fight. You gotta, you gotta tip your cap to both the fighters there. <laughs> Great fight, man. Love it. That's only 25 I had on the parlay. I'm still up 185. Well, I'm happy that you're still up. And it was a great fight. So there we go. There we go. I don't speak Italian, and I, you know what? I feel your pain. I'm fucking pissed too. I'm pissed off too. All right, let's get into the next fights here. And by the way, everyone watching, welcome. Let me know who you voted for in the poll question. Drop a comment in the live chat to introduce yourself and say what's up. And by doing so, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. All right, we're in the final three fights of the event here, folks. Um, two oh five. So this is the f the heaviest fight. That we're going to see on this card is next, folks. Jackie Gianni against Virgil Ogin is next. I'm going to change it up on the screen here. Then we're going to take a quick break as these fighters make their walkouts. First fight in the light heavyweight division, though, tonight, folks. I'm pumped for this one, folks, and I hope this one ends in the first round. 
And yep, this guy's jacked. Light heavyweight. These, yeah, so we have a middleweight belt in the co-main event and then a lightweight belt in the main event. 205ers, light heavyweights in the third uh, the third last fight on the card. Give me one sec here as I update the little ticker. Bum, 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 bum. 205ers, the first light heavyweight fight on the card this evening. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go Jackie Gianni. His last two fights were awesome. All right. Uh, again, we'll go over them in just a sec here, folks. I love, by the way, that uh, our Italians are talking in the live chat here. I don't know what you're saying, but that's fine. We are a community, so talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm happy that you are here. Okay, as the fighters make their walk, I'm going to take a quick break here, folks. On the other side, the first light heavyweight bout on the card here live on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, vote in the poll question. Welcome to our channel, and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Thank you all for waiting patiently in the break there while I drain the main vein, as they say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks, here. Again, live commentary, live reaction, and, of course, live interaction with you folks here. How excited are you, folks, for the first light, first and only light heavyweight bout on the card Third last fight of the card, and we already had some people commenting about the fighters. Jackie, apparently his last two fights were unbelievable. Let's take a look at them here before I give my official prediction, and I want to hear yours. Jackie Gianni, 2-0. and oh. So he's 2-0 and oh in his first two professional MMA bouts. No amateur fights listed on Tapology. Uh, two TKO wins. So there you go. There you go. Uh, his opponent, Virgil Ogin, also 2-0, fighting out of France. He won his last two fights, one in Mixed Martial Arts Grand Prix and one of them in Gladiator Fighting Arena 13. He went 0-2 and two on the amateur scene. Uh, I am going with... Bum, 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 who am I picking? I am picking... I'm going Jackie. Lock it in. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Jackie Jean. Whale videos. What's going on, whale videos? Thank you so much for joining. I like your uh, I like your profile picture there, buddy. That's awesome. Welcome to the stream and already a takedown by Vigil. Huge, huge. Start to the fight here. Ocean is known to be strong as hell. Smells like an interesting, interesting fight, but I'm going for Jean. Well, yeah, Ojin, you can you can see he's got the wrestling here. He's trying to separate those legs or climb above them to get the mount position. He's pulling Jean out. Jean trying to stay up against the cage to not get mounted here. Shane says, "I'll pick the opposite of you just to keep it competitive." But we all know the guy on the left is going to win. Jackie Jean gets back up to his feet, and they're back at the center of the octagon. And another double leg takedown by Ojin. I'm going for Jackie. He seems like the more dangerous fighter. Ojin looks like the wrestler. He's got more of that wrestler frame. If they keep this on the feet, if Jackie Jean can keep getting back up to his feet, and they strike there, then I would, I would tend to agree. Half guard. Ojin now looking to mount. He's pushing his knee down to make some separation, and he does. Ojin reaches full mount. Oh, and here Ojin just laying down the ground and pound right now, trying to sprawl is Jackie Jean. He does a good job of getting his back up against the cage. And here we go. Ojin just grabs his legs and is dragging him. Oh, tries to drag him back down, but good defense by Jackie Jean. Back up to his feet, Jackie Jean. And right back to the double leg. Oh, this is going to be a long night for Jackie Jean. Ojin just right back to the double leg. And Ojin, I mean, look at look at his look at his body, folks. This guy's as athletic as fuck. Like he's going to keep applying this pressure all fight. Jackie Jean's going to have to adjust his game plan quickly here. I'm curious to see what his corner says. If it, if it even gets there with two minutes and 33 seconds left in this first round. Again, like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Vote in our poll question, too. Again, if Ojin can drag Jackie John back off the cage, he's pretty much in the full mount. Jackie John doing a good job of keeping his ass and back up against the cage and keeping his legs just tightly, tightly together. But again, when you got a guy, a 205er, like Ojin, Ojin, is that how you say his name? And he's now side mount here. Side mount by Ojin. Total control. Now going for a Darce. Now going for a Darce. Ojin has a Darce. Ojin has a Darce. And he's going to finish it. It is all over. Oh my God. Jackie Jean taps out. Ojin, I mean, look at this guy. Is this guy even real? This guy's chiseled. Oh my goodness, Jackie Jean. 
the pick that most of us, the most of us went with in the live chat. Everyone except for Shane. Shane is somehow the real MMA guru. Oh, this guy is a problem, man. What the fuck kind of celebration was that? Oh my goodness. Well, folks, I am going to be keeping my eye on Virgil Ojean because this guy, this the, the this guy looked like he was freaking Dagestani the way he fought. This is his third fight in 2022 as well. He's bursting onto the scene. How, is, how old is he again? And it's crazy on Tapology. After 177 votes, 94% thought that Jackie Jean was going to win. They both weighed in under two. What? Okay, Tapology's weights must not be accurate. Dude, he is a beast, man. Absolute beast. Good display of respect by both teams there. Wow, well, that ended quick, which is good because I do have a dinner to get to later, folks. So um, I do have like a hard out time limit. I didn't think the fights would go this long. Uh, we still got time and we're, we have two fights left. Co-main event, which is our first and only middleweight fight on the card. And then the main event for the lightweight, the vacant lightweight title. I'm up by three in the beer bets today and two fights left. So our overall record's five and five. I owe you four beers. You owe me one. I feel like such a fucking idiot. I'm swearing again. I feel like such an idiot, Shane, that I gave you that free one because I feel like that's where the tides turned. That's where the tides turned on me. By the way, does this mic sound better than the last one uh, I've been using for these live streams here? This is one of Hoppy's mics that I still have, Shane. I mean, I did buy them, so technically they're my mics, but they're Hoppy's mics that I bought. <laughs> Um, Shane, did you listen to our last podcast too? It was a lot of fun uh, live at Waconia. That one was only like 27 minutes long, so a little bit shorter than some of our regular ones. And yeah, folks, I do have a podcast. If you uh, if you dig my vibe, I'll throw it in the live chat here. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm also on Twitter, at VI Sports Talk. Hit me up there. Super active on Twitter, not really on any other social media. City Life Project, my the this YouTube channel. We have a Facebook. Uh, this is my podcast. We have a Facebook account that we're pretty active on, but uh, mostly active on Twitter. <laughs> you like the Minnesota boys who are on? They're gonna show us a tour of their uh, of their bus and clubhouse the next time we go out there. We went to a dive bar after the game, and they wanted to like show us and keep drinking. And we're like, guys, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Um, all right, yeah, I guess we have to highlight. I gotta get this off the. Blah, 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 blah. We gotta highlight the next two fighters here. The co-main. We we have reached the co-main event of the evening, folks. What a tremendous day of fights! Wow. Middleweights too. So I actually hope this ends quick as well. I hope we see. Hope we see a knockout. Let's go. I hope we see a knockout. Co-main event. Let's go. You know, it's funny. A lot of the music uh, used in the Ayers production, and this is no disrespect. It's music that I also use in a lot of my editing and stuff because we share the same like license-free music subscription. Not we don't share the same subscription, but we subscribe to the same service. So like, I know all these songs are using in the background. You might even hear some on this stream sometime. Not this particular one, but on this channel. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Two more fights, folks. Middleweight, and then we go to the lightweights again. The vacant lightweight title up for grabs. Oh man. You walk out to this song, you know. You walk to Rihanna and Jay Z, you know you're fired up, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can say that one you forgot to pick didn't count, so you still have a chance. No, 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 no. It's okay, Shane. It's okay. We don't we don't backtrack. We don't backtrack here. We ain't degenerates. We don't we don't backtrack.
I'm glad. Uh, Shane, I, I had a new mic setting where it doesn't pick up a lot of the outside noise, so I can like blast the the Jay Z broadcast music in the back of the broadcast and uh, not get any copyright strikes. Yeah, I can't see any of it getting picked up. That's awesome. Um, but, 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 okay, let's highlight both of these fighters here. I'll give my prediction, then I want to hear yours. Again, co-main event, folks. Robert Valentin against Pietro Pinini. Let's start with Robert Valentin. Robzilla. He's a seven and three record. He did he did win his last fight. Twenty seven years old, out of Zurich, Sweden, weighed in at one eighty five and a half, six two, seventy seven inches of reach. Let's take a look at some of his fights. So he fought in Levels Fight League. He's fought in Aries. He's fought in Lions. Austrian fight championship. So, okay, a lot of lesser known uh, fight leagues and one amateur fight. Um, lost in his area's debut. And his other two losses were in Lions and Austrian. Looking at his opponent, 29 year old Italian King Kong Pietro Panini. He weighed in at 185 and a half pounds. Uh, he's six one, and I don't know his reach based on topology. Let's take a look at King Kong's. He's ten three and one in his professional MMA career. He lost his last fight in Aries four. Um, he's fought in Power Nation. He's he's fought in uh, Bellator Euro Series. He's fought Bellator London. He's fought Italian Cage Fighting and. Uh, Venador. So you know what? I think he has a little bit, he's faced a little bit better competition than Rob Zilla. He's only two years older. I know he's coming off a loss. I'm going with the 10 3 and 1 Italian Pietro Panini King Kong Shane. Lock up. <laughs> By the way, anyone viewing on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube so you can join. Us there and in the live chat. Bum, bum. Yeah, for the viewers on uh, YouTube, please or on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube. The only reason I'm broadcasting on Twitter is to make sure that any of my followers on Twitter know that I'm doing this on YouTube. Uh, the link is in post below. City Life Project, check it out. Migrate over. You know, I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll even just. I will even just share the link on the freaking stream right now. Um, so if you're viewing on Twitter, please get your ass over to YouTube. I just commented the link on the YouTube post. That way you can join our contest. If you like the video and drop a comment in the live chat, you're automatically entered and winning some prizes. So there you go. Shane's going with Valentine. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I missed some comments here. She. All right. Kenneth's going with Pietro. Locking it in. Aaron's going with the Panini Press. I mean, that would have been a good nickname, too. The Presser. The Panini Presser. When is Bo Nickel fighting again? Uh, UFC 282, I think? Uh, P uh, Peter beat Charlie Ward, who just went the distance with Fabian Edwards. Oh, shit. I'm glad Edwards won, even though I heard it was a boring fight. Uh, I'm going Robert. Uh, that's funny. Zilla versus King Kong. That's hilarious. Uh, Nian too. We had some earlier on TikTok and Facebook, but they were shut down, my dude. They were shut down. So I don't know. I'm watching on Fight Pass right now. So if anyone in this uh, chat does have a link, hook our Saiyan brother up. We had some earlier on TikTok and Facebook, but they've since been shut down i'm watching on fight pass so i would just recommend get subscribing to fight pass thank you for commenting me and two you're an absolute beauty <laughs> just by commenting you've automatically entered and winning some prizes so i appreciate it co-main event folks we have arrived being introduced in the octagon now are both of these fighters 
Shane, you might have to take over the stream here. I might have to end it early. <laughs> I did shower before doing this. I did prepare, but I do have to change. I'm just kidding. Shane's like, wait, what? No. <laughs> That's so funny. Robzilla. That's amazing. I can't stand this official. Robzilla versus King Kong. That's amazing. I have no idea what you're saying here, but I... All right. Round one. Let's get Call it on. Event. Let's get it on. Uh, Nyan too. I said there was some on TikTok. There was some on Facebook. They were shut down. I don't know. I'm watching Fight Pass. You should get it too. Yeah, this is pushing my workout back most of the time. I'd be working out now. Well, sorry. Oh, a nice overhand right by Valentin. I need I need the freaking Panini Press to win here. And a nice overhand right by Valentin. I don't know if it landed clean, but I, I heard something. Panini, what a great name. Clinched up against the cage now. Panini has a Valentin. He's going to employ the foot stomp. Come on, employ the good old foot stomp. The good old UFC foot stomp. It might not even be legal in Aries. Oh, and a nice... Takedown attempt by Panini, but a good reverse by Valentin. They're right back to their feet. Center of the octagon. All right, let's see another scrap here. Let's see another scrap. I don't want to see this go the distance, so let's see another knockout. Overhand right attempt by Panini. Panini with the left jab. Ooh, overhand by Valentin. Good right hook counter by Panini. Panini's got some power, man. Despite Valentin being a little bit more rangy and like being a little bit taller, and Valentin throws a nice kick there, actually. Panini, he's got some power. Valentin's the one pushing forward. Ooh, overhand opportunity by Valentin, but he misses and. Panini tried to go for the takedown again. Another good reversal by Valentin and Judo throw right on top into side control. God damn. Side control now. Kind of attacking the, the shoulders is Valentin. Looking to get into the full mount here. Oh, now front headlock perhaps? Like Darce choke? No, oh, just elbows. That was a nice elbow by Valentin. Good pick, Shane. Good pick. Shane's the MMA expert, by the way. Two minutes left in this first round. Uh, modified half guard side control. Valentin postures up, which he's trying to right now. No, he goes for the neck again. Guillotine? No, let's it go. Let's it go and wanted to lay an elbow down, but now just really trying to hold the neck down is Panini in and now Valentin's into his full guard. One minute thirty seconds left in this first round. I mean Panini's doing okay at defending here. He's, he's scrambling a lot. The broadcast is like, he's doing well at defending. He's, he's still taking shots. One minute left. Elbow attempt from the bottom by Panini. Come on, we need an Italian to win. Let's go. Ooh, elbow from the top now. This is a big uh, octagon.
Oh, some more strikes from top position by Valentin now. Good defense now in the back now. At least when Valentin gets into the into the guard after laying a shot, Panini does a decent job of holding him. Oh, he just cut him open there. Nasty, nasty elbow by Valentin. That cut Panini wide open. Somebody's cut here, actually. There's blood dripping everywhere, and I imagine it's Panini. That almost looked like a hair pull by Valentin. Wow, that's a lot of blood. I imagine, yeah, it was that. There was one elbow that I was just like, oh, that's that's going to cut him open and then instantly covered. Uh, Nordic ruins must win. There is no other way possible, says Julian. All right, so the doctor's going to take a look at this cut. So this is a medical timeout right now. The official's taking a look at the cut to make sure if Panini can... Oh, go oh my goodness. That is that is nasty. I don't think they're going to continue this fight. They they literally move the skin and... Oh, I almost... I feel like I just saw his brain. It's not... That's the thing. It's not, it's not near the eye. It's on the forehead, but that is disgusting. Huh? That is a nasty cut. Nasty, nasty cut. Again, it's not above the eye, so like the eyebrow is not going to droop, but that is... Whew, that's gross. Elbows are insane. The, like, the weapons that we have here, folks, the fact that you can cut someone like that with this, insane. Uh, it's this. It was, this was the one, dude. Boom! That was the one. No, I think that was the one that caused it. Caused it. Yeah, because he's leaking right after. My goodness. You think this is continuing? Oh, it is continuing. Wow. 22 strikes for Valentin, 17 for Panini. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to like this ref a little bit more. I just don't like his stupid Yamazaki heart crap. Man, these middleweights. All right, round two. He's fighting with the cut. Let's hope the cut man did a good job. Round two. Let's get it all! Let's go. Starting fast here on the feet. Some kicks thrown. Some combinations already by both of them. Overhand right opportunity by Valentin. He wants to take us back to the ground, I think, and some elbows in the clinch, but good head movement by Panini he was able to dodge one of those, another one of those nasty elbows by Valentin. Clinched. Valentin doing a good job in the clinch here. He's trying to drag Panini back to the ground. Oh, and there we go. Valentin was going for it, but it slipped in the sweat and blood. Ooh, and a nice right hand on Valentin by Panini. Uh, Federico, what's going on? Uh, the first round was, it was really, really close on the feet. Both of them are landing some tremendous shots each. Uh, Valentin got... Panini to the ground and in top position laid down a nasty elbow. So Panini has a very, very, very nasty and deep cut on the top of his head. Panini, though, with a straight punch, just rocked Valentin. Panini looks like he is the better striker, but Valentin looked damn good on the ground. Good right hand. I mean, both of them are seemingly tired now. There's a lot of grappling in that first round. Now they're both just right back on their feet. Another good combo by Panini. Wait. What's going on? Why is there a timeout? Oh, because uh, he groin shot. I didn't. I missed that.
All right, back in. Three minutes left in the second round. Body shot and left hook combo. Double. Oh, he was going for a double leg. It was Valentin. He had the, the hooks into the body for just a moment. But Man, Panini's the real deal. Panini's a good fighter, man. That's what I, that's the broad guys just said. Valentin's maybe slowing down a bit. I think that's what it is. I think Panini, I mean, his cardio is clearly looking pretty good right now, despite being cut up. Panini's just landing more shots, plain and simple. His jab is landing. I mean, the elbows that Valentin has, don't get me wrong, in the clinch are, are deadly. Valentin throwing a kick. Zoomer Loyalist, what's up? <laughs> This is the co-main event. The main event is next for the lightweight title. By the way, Aries is an awesome, awesome fight promotion. All the fights have been have been have been great. Zoomer Loyalist, I appreciate it. Uh, we're doing Cage Warriors tomorrow, UFC on Saturday, and Fury FC on Sunday. Come on, let's see a knockout. Let's see a knockout. I don't think we're gonna see one because they're getting tired, but we'll see. We'll see. Cred to Valentin, he's, he's still the one stalking Panini, but Panini's the one landing more shots. Seemingly, anyways. I'm, I'm curious to see them on the stats here in a moment. One minute left. One minute and 15 seconds left in this second round. Oh, my goodness. The left hook counter by Panini is beautiful. Like his head movement's still very crisp. Like he is, he still has more gas left in the tank, in my opinion. 50 seconds left straight jab clips Valentine again. I really need uh, Panini to win too. My beer bet with Shane. So I'm like, I am razor focused in on this one, folks. Oh, and there we go for the takedown. Oh, there's some illegal elbows thrown by Panini. Oh, Panini landed some elbows to the back of the head. Panini landed an elbow right to the back of the head of oh, Valentin. You can't do that. No, it's already over. I'm up three... Two fights left. What do you mean it's over? If I win this one and then win the next one, then we then we good. All right, whatever, Shane. I'm up three, two fights left. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. He's compromised, eh? 26 seconds left in this second round, and he's not doing too well right now. Watching the replay, he like he went down after being like he he got a little rocked from that. No, the fight's over. The doctor calls it. Panini's yelling, going, "No, no." Oh, Pan dude, Panini's pissed. He's yelling at Valentin on the ground saying, dude, look at my face. He's saying, look at my fucking face. Oh, my God. So there is no sportsmanship here. Panini's just yelling at Valentin, taunting him. Why is no one entering the cage right now to stop this?
Oh, yeah, the ref finally waved the fight off. Someone's yelling at him, wave, wave the fight off. Why is no one entering the cage right now? End this. Like, oh, man, Panini's freaking out. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. Usually, once it's over, once the doctor calls it, everyone comes in, it's done. You move on to the next one. What's, what's going on right now? Who's? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the official's saying, you know, shut up. Stop talking. It might be a DQ. It might be disqualification. I don't know yet. We don't know who's winning or losing. All right. We'll get a decision here in a moment, Fred Frederico. Stand by. So the commission is talking with the official on how it's going to play out. Who's going to get the win? Who's going to get the loss? If it's going to be a no contest, if it's going to be a DQ. We're, we're, they're all sorting that out right now. But how crazy was that scene? Panini just yelling at Valentin. So the fight is over. They're just still talking about uh, who who's gonna who's gonna win it. You know what what the final decision is gonna be. Main event coming up next here, folks. After we hear the decision, yeah, it should be a DQ or no contest for sure. Yeah, I don't know if there's confusion if the fight is still on or not. There shouldn't be. The fight is over. Hey, the Ita the there seems to be a pretty big Italian crowd there. <laughs> the broadcast is trying to save them. So, like, everyone's doing the best that they can. It's like, nah, up until now, it's been pretty good. But this is a little bit of a uh, clusterfuck. Okay, now the coaches and camera crew and everyone's coming in the center of the ring. Oh, right, come on. Guys, stop delaying all this stuff. All right, we're hopefully about to hear what's going on. I don't know if he gave up or if the doctor or if the doctor called it. That's what the broadcast is because that will decide whether it's a DQ or if it's a no contest. How are they going to do Panini like that? Panini brought the press. <laughs> Funny, the crowd is yelling, Abdul, Abdul. He's the French fighter star. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're like, we're done with this. Let's go to the main event. I'm done with this and going want to go to the main event too, because I don't have too much longer I can stream here, folks. Yeah, there were two two elbows clearly to the back of the head. So it's over. It can't continue. Next, let's get on to the next one. All right. Let's get a result soon here, Rob Black. Please, uh, enough of this. Enough of this nonsense that's going on right now. Okay, I think we're going to get a decision here. Okay, right, the booing crowd. We're getting a decision here, folks. We are moving on to the main event here. No contest. A legal blow that resonated into a no contest. So neither get a win, neither get a loss. Oh, Panini's still going off. We're running it back. I'll stay right here. Hey, 
Yeah, I mean, you got to run it back. You got to run it back. All right, main event of the evening next here, folks. And we're going to run down the fighters here in just a moment's time. Wow, what a weird... I mean, so far, it's been pretty flawless on this card. Everything's kind of been smooth. That that was the only weird... That was, that was some of the only weirdness that we've seen thus far. Um... Wait, who did the elbows to the back of the head? So it was the Italian who landed two elbows in the back of the head of Valentin, and Valentin could not continue, thus the no contest. Who should I be rooting for in the main event? Well, that's up to you, sir. That's up to you, sir. It is it's the story of a young, you know, a young gun with, with still quite a bit of experience up against a veteran who's on a three-fight win streak. So let's get into it right now, and then I'll take a quick break before the main event. Damien Lapilu, 2014-2. and two. He is 33 years old. He is riding a three-fight win streak right now. He won his last three fights in Aris FC 7-4 and Mixed Martial Arts Grand Prix for, for then he traded wins and losses. Uh, one of his wins being in boxing, actually, as well. He's fought in Ares FC1. He's fought in UAE Warriors. He's fought in TKO. He's fought in Russian Cage Fighting Champion. ACB, GMC, Bama. I mean, the guy, he's 33 years old. He's been around. He's been around. A lot of experience and a decorated mixed martial artist, despite his record of 2014 and two looking at his opponent uh who is coming off a two fight losing streak he is three and two in his last five although coming off of two losses the exact opposite of his opponent's uh record he's 26 years old uh just clicking him right now this is their second time fighting as an Aries FC7. I mean, Ayub lost to his opponent, Damien Lapilu, due to doctor's stoppage. 16 and 6 is the Frenchman's, I mean, Ayub's record. Again, he lost his last fight to his current opponent. Now he gets the rematch against Damien Lapilou. He lost in Brave CF54 to Ahmed Amir. But before then, put together an impressive win streak of eight. Eight fight win streak before losing in Brave CF. Aries FC7. He's back. Aries FC9 to compete for the lightweight strap against the man who... Fed him his last loss, Damien Lapilou. I'm going with Damien Lapilou again to win this. He beat him once. Um, that's who I said early in the stream I was going for. I think the experience is going to play a role again, and I don't think I don't think the young guy has made the adjustments that he needs to yet to defeat this man after coming off a loss to him. I really don't. I really don't. And you come off two losses and you're given a title shot? Screw you. Get out of here. It should be the guy who has the three-fight win streak. So that's who I'm going for. Damien Lapilou. Uh, I badly want Lapilou to win. Ayub is a bad person in my opinion. Damn, who we got winning if that kept going without the elbows taking place, do you think? Oh, that's a good question. Um, ba 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 I know, because we didn't get to see the significant strikes. Honestly, probably Panini. He had more gas in the tank. Valentin, he he was... He was having a harder time taking Panini to the ground, and that's what was dominating in the first round. So I would say if it went three rounds, Panini would win. Wait. I was going to say, I mean, I use walking on a Bella Clava. Interesting. 
Uh, fun fact for their last fight, Ayub said something like, My wife was in the crowd. You should not have celebrated your victory. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a brother named Taylor Double Impact who used to fight in the UFC in his 18 3 and a 3 1 UFC record. Wow, Kenneth, there. I love uh, I love the stats. Thank you so much. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Taylor Double Impact Lapilu. I think because of that cut, the Swiss guy would have won. Absolutely not. Shane, you're taking the significant strikes and throwing them out the window, and you can't do that, dude. He he doubled him in strikes, and that's eye test. I didn't even have to look at the numbers. Like, There's no way. There's no way. Unless it was like over the eye and he couldn't see anything. If the cut remained the same and continued to bleed, and you double the significant strikes, that we, we already saw it here tonight. The significant strikes, you know, I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> uh, I would say in that one, like, put it this way: if it was so bad that they would have just called it, it was one cut. Now, if that cut was followed by a couple cuts under the eyes and a bruised up face, I mean, we we don't know. We wouldn't have been able to to see that. If he was more banged up by the end, then sure, and the significant strikes were lower. But I think if like. And again, it, maybe it's a stretch to say that they'd be doubled there, but I truly, truly think that uh, um, that the Italian was doubling up on on the strikes. He looked way quicker in that second round than his, than Valentin in the first. But that's just me. Again, if it was just damaged by one cut, no, there'd have to be more damage because I think by the end of that fight, especially on how the strikes were going, um. What's his name? Here, I have it up here. Valentin would have been banged up too. He would have you know, been bruised up and, and probably cut not that to that magnitude, but I imagine as well. He said to open up the cut and win, stop. It was still, it was open and leaking. Um, there was a point where like the, the official even looked at him and he went like that because like the blood was coming down, but it wasn't coming down to his eye. Again, hindsight's twenty twenty. We can't tell the future. Who knows? That's just how I was seeing it. But you are right. Damage does sometimes... But again, damage is scored more in the UFC. And it's annoying that it's not all like the same, but but it is true. So I, I don't know how these judges are really seeing it. That That's my opinion, though. Um, all right, folks. I'm going to take a quick break as the fighters make their walkout right now. You saw my opinion. You heard my opinion. You heard my pick. I want to hear yours. Get your prediction in the live chat, folks. Final fight of the evening. Main event here. Let's let's hope for a real stoppage here, like an actual knockout, an actual submission, not a not a no contest. Not a no contest. All right. On the other side, we're back for the final fight of the evening on the main card here. Aries 9, live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and I'll see you for the last fight on the other side.
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for the main event of the evening. Yes, I did change my shirt because literally right after this fight, knock on wood, hoping for a, <laughs> a quick fight that actually ends not in a no contest, but ends via a proper submission, proper knockout or TKO, especially given the storyline that is involved with this rematch. The lightweight belt is on the line. I assume so. Did anyone miss weight in this, by the way? I didn't follow the, the drama or lack thereof of Aries 9. Tapology does say that Amin weighed in uh, at 152 pounds. Oh, okay. wait, wait, 150. Okay, 154, 150. Okay. Earlier today, there maybe it was just like a glitch. It said he was like at 156. Six or 157 and i was like wait did one of them miss wave no both of them under the 155 limit this is for the lightweight strap um yeah let me know who you voted for in the poll question actually folks this this is the time i guess this is the end of the soon to be end of the stream soon to be end of the night here let's check out the poll question how we did How did we do here? 325 votes? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. 62% say Damien Lapilou. 38% say Amin Ayub. Thank you so much, folks. We hit 30 likes on the video. We're trying to hit 50. Once we hit 50, we will give away some prizes. So final chance. The lightweight strap, the vacant lightweight strap is on the line here, folks. No touching of the gloves here. Glad that Mark Goddard has this one. Shout out to all the new subscribers here, folks, as well. 1,220 subscribers. You are all amazing. Hope to see you on the next one. All right, round one. Let's get it all. And right away, these guys are going at it. No love lost here. Are you been the... Blue tape, Lapilu in the red. Joker girl, what's good? <laughs> it's been a tremendous day of fights. What a great way to spend my second half of the workday watching Aries 9. It's been an amazing event. We're in the main event right now, Joker Girl. But Joker Girl, we will be back tomorrow for Cage Warriors UFC on Saturday as well as Fury FC on Sunday. So I appreciate it. How's your Thursday going? Leg kick by Ayub. Lapilu definitely, as you can see here, more the rangy, more the lengthy fighter. Ayub, you know, to exert his dominance, he's going to get into the pocket a little bit more where Lapilu can piece him up distance. And Ayub's throwing a lot here. He's throwing a lot into those overhands. I got the whole weekend off, so I'll be here. Awesome. French toast in hand, of course. Of course. Of course. I wouldn't have assumed anything else. But I appreciate it, Joker. I appreciate it. Nice Three minutes and 32 seconds left in this first round. And a nice takedown by Ayub. Beautiful double leg. Oh, and a good reversal by Lapilu. Now Lapilu gets on top position. Ayub is a little too... A little too uh, anxious to get that full mount. Great job by Lapilu. Lapilu in the butterfly guard. Lapilu now in the full guard. Lapilu laying down some hard shots from top position. And that's what you can do with range. If you're in someone's guard, you lean. if you don't necessarily have to posture up to do to exert your dominance you can just get a little bit of a little bit of room and then just use those long arms of yours and that's what Lapilu is doing right now two minutes and 27 seconds left in the first round well Lapilu just gets right back up he just rides back up to his feet Looking for an entry into maybe side control or something like that. 
Goddard's going to, yeah, there you go. I know Goddard doesn't allow people to just lay down too often. He, he invites Ayu back up. Ayu with the outside low kick. Straight right hand by Lapilu. I want to I want to see this stay on the feet, especially if there's if it's like a grudge match. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. I love that all of you are here. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, and join us tomorrow for Cage Warriors, Saturday for UFC, and Sunday for Fury FC. We posted a vlog today as well, too, so check that out. Leg kick by Ayub. Great right hand jab by Lapilu there. Ayub tried to throw a knee. Oh, Lapilu just tagged Ayub with the right hand. Oh, this might be it. Lapilu tagged Ayub again. If Ayub can stuff this takedown, and he does, now he's just laying down hammer fist. This could be it, folks. This could be it. Hammer fist by Lapilu. 56 seconds left. And Ayub desperately tries to defend. Lapilu easily gets into side control and is just laying down the hammer fist now. 45 seconds, 45 seconds. He clipped uh, Ayub a couple times, invites him right back up to his feet. 38 seconds, Goddard making quick work of it. Lapilu smells blood here. Totally understand it's, it's a, a five-round fight and you don't want to drain the gas tank completely, but look at Ayub. He's wobbling right now. He's wobbling. He can barely swing those shots. And if Lapilu can time a good one in the next 20 seconds, he could end this fight. Oh, Lapilu with a good right hand. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Wow, that right hook hurt Ayub quite a bit. He was wobbling heavily there. A solid first round of this main event. Not gonna lie, I wanted to end quick. <laughs> yeah, so the chat was saying the broadcast just uh, said it there too, talking about Lapilu's uh, brother who just made the UFC. Wow, great first round. I mean. Shoe with the takedowns early before those really heavy strikes that whoa and a one straight left almost a knockdown on Ayub. I mean, yeah, you got to give it to Lapilu in this round. You got to give the first round to Lapilu. He almost finished Ayub twice. Great job stuffing the takedown, just pushing him onto his back and laying down some of the hammer fists there. So yeah, great first round by Lapilu. Exciting round overall. Habib, what's going on, Habib? Habib, we're doing Cage Warriors tomorrow, UFC Saturday, and Fury FC on Sunday. So plenty of time to join us, plenty of time to win some prizes, plenty of time to watch fights with us, this great community here. All right, round two. Let's get it all! Let's see if Ayub has recovered enough because Lapilu absolutely tagged him at the end of that first round a few times. Owen, we had one earlier, but it got shut down. So I'm watching on UFC Fight Pass, as is most of the people in the live chat here. Uh, if anyone in the live chat has a link, though, hook Owen up. Owen, I appreciate you joining, my man. Just by commenting, Owen is automatically entered into winning some prizes. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Fred Israel, whiskey wins for the moment. Uh, Lapilu, I think, right now. The Walking Dead, Lapilu, uh, I believe, is winning. But again, we are very early in this fight. I believe he won that first round. Ooh, Ayub with the good. Takes a leg kick, but throws that right, right hand jab. Oh. And Ayub again with a body shot, this time with a knee. Ayub going for the single leg. Good takedown defense by Lapilu. Great, great takedown defense by Damien Lapilu. 
Lapilus. He's Francais, no? Lapilus. Back to the center of the octagon. I mean, Ayub is throwing so so many so much energy, I should say, into those overhand shots and the takedowns. Relapolis is remaining calm, cool, collected, trying to find that shot. Uh, yes, sir. It is the second round. Three minutes left in the second round. Three out of five rounds in this championship fight. And the overhand right that Ayub threw just landed on Lapilus. Outside low kick landed on Lapilus. Two minutes and fifty sec or forty four seconds, I should say, left in the second round. The jab by Lapilus, that right hand jab, it's it's landing all day, every day. Frere de is it Srel? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Je parle un petit peu de français because I'm Canadian. But our Quebec French, is it really even French? It's like the gross French, isn't it? Freaking Quebec quoi's. Freaking Quebecers, eh? <laughs> no, shout out to Aris 9. Shout out to this promotion, Aris FC. Awesome promotion. Great production. <laughs> Spinning back for the temp by you. Awesome fighters. And great fans in and outside of France. Uh, could you say for each round who wins? I mean, I don't know definitively, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give my opinion and let you know who I think. We say la plus. I say, I say so as well, Anton. Thank you. I'd like to visit Canada. Well, when you do, visit British Columbia because it's the most beautiful part of Canada. Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> One minute, 15 seconds left in the first round. Ayub was throwing so much in these shots, and he seemingly recovered since, you know, being tagged up late in that first round. And Lapalus, yeah, he's kind of slowed down a little bit in his striking. I thought originally he was just kind of waiting to pick his shot, but he hasn't... I mean, there's that counter there. It didn't land, but... Ayub's confidence seems to be back, and and now he's even dodging some of Lapalus' jabs that were landing all day, every day. So I'm 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 wondering what's going on with Damien right now. Bang on, Damien! Thanks for this live, bro. No problem. Uh, we do these a minimum of two times a week. This week we're doing four a flying knee attempts by Ayub. I don't know if that tagged Lapalus though. I appreciate you joining, brother. Nice takedown by Ayub. Wow. Lapilus now on the bottom. And now on the way up, uh, Ayub lands a few hooks. The broadcast is saying that Judge Ayub might have done enough to win that round. And if so, that's not good for Damien Lapilus. I don't know if Lapilus is tired or what's going on, but he looks so good in that first round, especially at the end of that first round. I think this round you have to give it to Ayub. He got he was more aggressive. He was pushing forward. I, I believe he landed more shots. The broadcast is saying exactly what I what I said. In the first round, uh Damien Lapilus counters were on point. His jabs are on point. In the second round, they were off. They were they were off. So we'll see how this uh, plays out. Twenty six strikes by Lapulu, forty nine by Ayub in that last round. So there you go. Uh, we are going into the third round here, Owen. Third round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And right away, Ayub comes in with a double double jab, outside low kick. Left hook. Opportunity by Lapis. Lapis is already his output is already a lot more. I'm sure his corner said you got to throw more in this round. Oh, and Lapis just tagged Ayub with the left hook. 
And now you're going for the takedown. He gets it. But right back up to their feet. And Lapilus with a few shots decides not to go for the clinch. Uh, this is a five round fight, championship fight for the lightweight belt. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't look like either of these guys wanted to go to the judges, so I'm hoping to see a finish here. Hell yeah, five-round championship fight, baby. Appreciate all you joining. You are all amazing. Thanks for voting in the poll question. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing. We love hanging out with you doing these fight streams. and We do, we do some every week. Good combo by a you. Body shot and then left hook. Undercut. Under... Sorry, uppercut by Lapilu to answer. Man, this is an exciting third round. Way higher pace than the second. It's like every time Ayub gets hit, he like comes back a little stronger. Ayub with a beautiful, beautiful combo there, followed by a body kick. What's going on with Lapilus? Neither. Neither wants a decision here. And Ayub goes for the takedown again. Let's it go. Okay, the broadcast said that actually Ayub slipped and then just went for the takedown. Right now, Ayub is beating Lapalus at his own game with the counters, and he's pushing forward. Sumi, if anyone has a link, drop it in the chat. But the links we had earlier, they're, they're done. They were shut down. We're watching on Fight Pass here, brother. Two minutes and 36 seconds left in this third round. Officially halfway through the fight. Yo, y'a des Français, les frères. Je parle français, but I am from Canada. <laughs> yes, you can go on. Okay. We oui. Oh, Welsh. Thank you, bro. Nice stream, by the way. Owen parle français aussi. Look at that. Look at that. Appreciate it, Prof uh, Professor Rogue. <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. You all are amazing. <laughs> it is good, it is good. By the way, shout out uh, Muroto Gari as well. Thanks, bro, for the stream. Anytime. Hey, we do these a minimum of two days a week. So like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and check our community page for the full schedule. Tomorrow we got Cage Wars, Saturday UFC, and then Sunday Fury FC. Ayub, you will win. On to some merci de regard uh, de réagir à Aris meme. Si c'est pas UFC ou le Bellator. I do them all, buddy. And I think Aries is really, really underrated. I know MMA is new to France. Legally, well, not new to France, but recently legalized. And I think this promotion is unbelievable. The production, the broadcast, everything. It's been, it's been an absolute joy. You want, uh, okay, you want a mean to win. Lapilu is a little bit cocky. 23 seconds left in this third round. Spinning back for his attempt again by Ayub doesn't land. Yes, thanks for making this live, man. Dude, I will do every single Aries I can moving forward. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite smaller promotions. One Championship, Aries, Cage Fury, LFA, those are all super fun as well. And Lapilu tried to counter again. Appreciate all the comments here. Thank you, Fernand Lopez, for Aries or Aries. It is not Lapilu, it's Lapilule. Only French people understand. I said Lapilu earlier. 
and je parle français. I was I spoke I all my classes in school were in French until I was in grade 12. So je parle français and I said la pilule, but the broadcast kept saying la pilule. So you know, I was like, "Hey, well, the broadcast. If they're saying it this way, maybe that's maybe that's the way he wants it pronounced." So, Mister Arabic English vocabulary, this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait! I can't wait for the tenth. And if you guys want to just speak French amongst each other too, go ahead. Like, it's totally cool. Who is dominate? No one's dominating this fight. No one's dominating this fight, but I would say Ayub is up, in my opinion. That last round, Lapilu had 29 shots to 26, but I'd say Ayub is at least up around. For a country that has only just legalized MMA, there's a lot of high-level talent from France. Yes, absolutely, and this promotion is unbelievable. Okay, round four, folks. Let's get it all! This is a joke, not about your pronunciation. Okay, well, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I just have fun going back and forth, too. Oh, I, I, I predicted Lapilu would win this one, especially after the first round and how he rocked Ay, uh, Ayub and almost finished him. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu. I used to do Kung Fu when I was a kid and like go to competitions and stuff, but Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, four minutes and 26 seconds. So we're 30 seconds into this fourth round. I do have to go soon for dinner, folks. So I do hope this ends. <laughs> One minute in, some leg kicks exchange, and Ayub tried to go for the takedown, but good takedown defense by Lapilu. No problem, buddy. No problem. They're both just on their feet right now. A couple body shots exchanged, but... French athletes are good now that MMA is legal. They're going to see lots of upcoming talent. Baki, Piranhas, Rams. Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. And again, this league is going to be a tremendous feeder league for French fighters to the UFC. Mama from Paris. I don't know a lick of French, though. <laughs> what belt? Oh, white belt, dude. I started a few months ago, jujitsu, but uh, kung fu I did for like eight years. I can't wait, dude. A hundred percent. Shout out to everyone joining. Uh, we are going to be leaving soon here. This is the last fight towards the end of it, and I do have a dinner to go to in like ten fifteen minutes. So, just saying, just saying. Welcome to all you new viewers. I hope that I can see you tomorrow, Saturday, and or Sunday because we'll be streaming then as well. But it's so cool to have all these new French fans and I promise you, we'll, we'll be doing way more, way more Ari's fighting championship moving forward. This is a tremendous league and it's been so much fun watching these fights and hanging out with you guys. Two minutes and 24 seconds left in the round. How are you guys scoring this one right now? Because in this fourth round, it's all Damien Lapilu. In the third round, it was close. Second round, I'd say Ayub won. But first round, Lapilu. Like, how are you guys scoring this one? <laughs> Lapilu means the drug because he's been accused of doping. <laughs> uh, you made the start the right choice starting jujitsu. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Oh, I get the joke now. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I can't believe how many people are watching. This is tremendous. You are all amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, or check our community page for the full schedule on when we do live streams and watch-alongs. We do them a minimum twice a week, up to four times a week like we're doing this week, folks. And seriously, this is becoming one of my favorite promotions. I love Aries. Uh, sorry, dude. Well, I'm reading your comments, buddy. I'm reading your comments. One minute, and I asked you folks. I said, "Who? How? Who are you? Who do you have scoring, or how are you scoring this one thus far?" I give you guys the attention first and foremost. By the way, one minute left in this fourth round. Arabic English vocabulary. He's on my ass, man. New viewer, and he's already on my ass. Straight left jab, 
by Laplu. Ayub, I don't know if he tagged Lapilu. He's trying to go for that spinning back fist. Ayub, he's thrown four of them thus far in this fight. Lapilu, though, I think won this fourth round. I think uh, Lapilu won the third round. Second round, Ayub won in the first round, Lapilu. So I think Lapilu is up in this fight, but it's close. It's close. The first round was the only definitive round, I would say, and it went to Lapilu. 26 seconds left. Let me go into the final round, and then I have to peace the fuck out right after, folks. <laughs> I even changed my shirt between breaks because I knew I didn't have time right uh, <laughs> to change. <laughs> How UFC France has been perceived over here. Five seconds left. Both of them just swanging and banging at this point. Oh, it was perceived tremendously out in the States and Canada. We saw it just like uh, UFC London, the first one this year. I, sh I did a live stream for that one too. It was awesome. It was so awesome. Love these coaches, the owner of Aries. Oh, that's a uh, uh, Fernand Lopez. Are you saying it's fixed? Are you saying it's rigged? <laughs> Final round, folks, and then I have to do a hard out. But I appreciate you all. We've been going for a few hours now. And and who won this round? Again, I'm not. I like. I'm not a judge, folks. Like, <laughs> I'm not a judge, folks. <laughs> um I didn't I just say I uh Lapulu 71 strikes thrown 49 landed Ayub 39 landed 77 thrown so fourth round Lapulu won third round I'll say Lapulu won second round I'll say Ayub won first round Lapulu so Lapulu is up in my books but it's a tight it's a close fight and the judge the judges could see otherwise okay Final round here, folks. Let's get it all. Final round. No, nah, it's not fix. I mean, hate Lupulus. Fair enough. Fair enough. And now you're going right for the takedown right away. And I hope to see you all this weekend as well. Sometimes I hang out after the fights and we talk about them. But again, I got to go right away. And, oh, is this a legal knee? Did Lapulu just knee a downed opponent? Lapilu need Ayub. One oh wow, this is huge. Lapilu's got a point taken away. Honestly, Owen, he might have to now because again, I I'm no judge. I had it scored primarily for Lapilu this fight, but now Lapilu's got a point taken away for an illegal strike to a downed opponent. So, if a judge even had it close. This is where Lapilu just has to end it here. And it looks like and it looks like uh, Ayub again is the one pushing forward. Yeah, Ayub just has to keep moving forward. They're not abandoning his game plan, but I'm Lapilu, I mean, man, depending on how the judges are scoring this, he might have to just go for a finish here. Lapilu has failed by this illegal knee. He might, he, he might, and I would not be surprised if he did. And you know what? Fair enough. He has to fight like the first round or fourth round Lapilu here. Body kick on Ayub by Lapilu. LMB, again, LMB, thank you so much for joining. Unfortunately, Jordan didn't get that win for his last fight in Paris. That would have been definitely a cherry on the cake. Absolutely. But I think, I mean, we'll finish him at the end. We'll see. Three minutes left, folks. Three minutes left. Three minutes left, and then I got to bounce too. <laughs> again, next stream tomorrow, I'll hang out a little bit after the fights. And we'll talk about it a bit. But uh, like I said off the top, I got I got dinner plans, and I got to, I got to bounce.
Ayub's left eye is pretty banged up, though. So maybe, again, if the judges are scoring this on damage-based, you know, with even with the point taken away, it's a close, close fight. Midway through this fifth and final round, and now Damian Lapilu is really starting to pour it on, I guess, more so than he has at all in this fifth and final round. Oh, those straight right jabs are find are finding their home again. Wow. Lapilu again just landed. Lapilu, final two minutes here. Final two minutes. He has to go for it here. He has to go for it. I mean, this whole fight depends on him winning this round. Oh, a left hook landed clean on the chin of Ayub. Again, Lapulis is showing. Oh, and Ayub lands the takedown. Well, that's huge too. Ayub grabbing the back of Lapulu. Lapulu standing back up here. One minute and 20 seconds left. This is Lapulu has to go for it. Why didn't he go for it, guys? Why? <laughs> One minute left. Here it is. Final minute of the event, final minute of this fight. Who will be crowned the new lightweight championship? Who will be crowned the new lightweight champion in Aries Fighting Championship, folks? 55 seconds. Left jab landed straight on Ayub. That takedown, though, that Ayub got is huge. Again, as much as the strikings and significant striking in this round, I don't know, but still huge nonetheless, folks. Ayub, though, he is an absolute beast. He has not stopped walking forward. Now, you coming off two losses to get a title shot. Again, I'm like, eh. I have mixed feelings on that. But credit to him still in this final 15 seconds. Is it Lapilus who, who just took down Ayub? No, Ayub took down Lapilus. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it, folks. That is it. No handshake here. Just, just more taunting at each other. That is it. Okay. We will listen into the decision. We will see who is crowned the new lightweight champion. And then I gotta I gotta bounce, folks. I know that takedown could have, I don't know. This is a tough one to score, even with, and especially with the point getting taken away. Shane saying it might be a draw. And then no one would have the title because it's a vacant title that they're winning right now. Even if you don't tell you're from Canada, the Sean Couture ice hockey jersey betrayed you. But I'm, that's my roommate's jerseys, by the way. Signed Ovechkin jersey. Sign Couturier jersey. Uh, Arabic English vocabulary. I was wearing my Minnesota Wild jersey earlier in the stream because it is game day for them. Uh, I'm from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, though. So Canucks are my favorite team. Ayub, new champ, says Antoine. Is it Antoine? Is that how you say your name? Antoine? How do I score? First round. Oh, man. First round, Lapulu. Second round, Ayub. Third round, I don't know. That one's that one's too close. Fourth round, Lapilu. And, and honestly, the fifth round, I don't know, dude. I'm giving it to Lapilu until the takedown. A draw in a third match. That would be sick. And it would be the lightweight title again, no? Just run it back again. I mean, split decision. I could see that 100%. I could see that as well. Uh, Olas Nick, they just ended. They just ended, buddy. Antoine, I like that. Antoine, I'm used to the Antons. Antoine, that's awesome. Shout out to everyone for joining, by the way. You are all amazing. Really hard to score, but Ayub is badly hurt. Lapilu looks, Lapilu looks fresh. That is true. Damage does mean something in these promotions. Okay, hurry up and announce the winner. I got to go, folks. <laughs> I don't want to leave you. Trust me. This has been so much fun, but I am hungry. And uh... 
and we got to go. Oh, no, my friend. I mean, to rewatch a specific fight, for example, uh, Ares posts them all on YouTube, brother. They, I don't know if they'll post them like instantaneously, but they do post all the fights on YouTube. So subscribe to them. Kenneth, oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, judges. Come on. Again, okay, I'll do my shout-outs right now since, seriously, as soon as they announce the winner, I got a jet, folks. So I'm just going to do my shout-outs to you all right now, okay? You can keep the comments coming, but uh, I'm going to start scrolling up. I give a shout-out to everyone who commented in my stream, even if we don't hit our goal of 50 likes on the video. Shout-out Julian. Uh, it was fun to watch it with you, mate. See you on the next UFC pay-per-view. Julian, I'm doing Cage Warriors tomorrow as well. I mean, maybe I'll see you then. Shout-out Julian. Shout-out Kenneth. Olas. Arabic, English, vocabulary, Anto Antoine, uh, Mor uh, Morote, LMB. I'll continue my shout-outs, too, if we you know, cut into the decision. Shane, Owen. Oh, we do have the decision. All right, we're listening into the judges' scorecards. Peace out, brother. Have a good night. I hope to see you this weekend, Kenneth. Salut! Have a great evening. Majority draw, folks. Majority draw. We do not have a lightweight <laughs> champion. We do not have a lightweight champion. Oh, my God. Moroto, see you tomorrow, bro. Thanks for the video. Thank you, sir. Thank you to everybody who supported us here. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, bon fin de soirée, les amis. And still, there is no and still music TV. <laughs> and still the vacant the vacant title. No one won. It was a majority draw. Okay, shout out music TV. I'm gonna continue my shout outs here, folks, and I gotta I gotta run. Shout out music TV, shout out uh the Viking of Normandy, shout out Zoomer Loyalist, shout out Hamza, shout out Sumi. Uh Professor Rogue. Fred, Israel, Habib, Joker Girl. Um, that's crazy. If he didn't have that point taken away, he would have won. That's crazy. Uh, Nien too. Shout out to you, Aaron. I'm sorry if I missed some folks. I'm I'm going I'm going quickly here. Uh, oh shoot. Whale video. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm sorry, folks. I have a shitty mouse too, and I'm trying to do my shout outs. Uh, Pasquel, Ale Hustle, Samuel, uh, Bobcats Basement, Martina, Fran Neon, Ali Skov. Xieti, Rain. Uh, bu, 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 bu. I'm hope I'm not missing anybody. I'm going as fast as I can. Leo the Dawn. Manash. Peanuts. Kulev. And that's it, folks. That is everybody. You are all amazing. I hope to see you tomorrow. With that, I say peace. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow again for Cage View. Like, subscribe. You are all amazing. I appreciate you. I will see you tomorrow or for Cage Warriors or Saturday for UFC or Sunday for Cage Fury. Peace. <laughs>